that's right. So what you're saying is, uh, uh, yeah.
Okay, you know what? I have decided that I will never, ever start a stream late. Okay? You know what? That's just... That's just the thing okay, now. You know what? We're never going to do this. We are never, ever going to start a stream late. I would rather be early every single time and and probably lose a lot of potential viewers. Actually, you know, you, you just gain more live viewers if you... Um, you gain more live viewers if you actually go live when you say you're going to go live because then a lot of people are, you know, waiting for, for the premiere. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Stanley Parable. I am uh, dressed up in my amazing office attire today. I know I look very fancy schmancy. I'm waiting for a lot of a uh, lot of fan art of me of me in this in this fancy outfit. Thank you very much. That 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 is expected. I'm expecting you to, to give me a bunch of fan art with this wonderful outfit instead of just the lime shirt which you guys seem to love, <laughs> which I don't get. I don't get, dude, I used it in one video and that lime shirt just became like Part of all of the fan art. Uh, <laughs> hashtag pick up the phone. It's an office building. There's phones going off all the time. But also, thank you for the thank you for the dono. Actually, let's read a bunch of super chats because you guys are uh, kind of insane and donate a lot of money before I even start the stream. <laughs> let's see. Here we go. Uh, thank you for the. Oh my gosh, there's so many. I can't read all this. Uh, somebody wasted their car repairing money on, on this stream before I even started streaming. Thank you, Brick Boy, but also, or when it, no, that was Vulture, but also, thank you, Vulture, but also, uh, spend your car repairing money on your car, okay? I, I don't, I don't need, it's okay, you know, you can, you can spend it on yourself, you don't need to spend it on, especially because I'm not even going to see it, I don't get that, whatever, sorry, this thing's choking me up, so if I sound a little weird or if I take too many swigs of water, oh, I forgot the best thing, hold on, I'll be right back, I forgot my food, uh, 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 <laughs> hold on, be on the BRB screen, just give me two seconds, oh, I forgot the best thing. Hold on. I'll be right back. I forgot my food. Uh, 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 <laughs> hold on. Be on the BRB screen. Just give me two seconds. All right, I'm back. Sorry. T two seconds. See, I told you. It was just going to take two seconds. I just had a little surprise that I had. To <laughs> no, it's not really a surprise. But last week, I said that next stream, I would be eating an entire baguette on the stream. And I'm here to tell you that was not a lie. Today, I am dressed as a... Uh, this rapping is going to get really annoying really quick. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so I brought a whole baguette to the stream, and I am just going to eat it plain because uh, I do this normally, but uh, since I don't think a lot of people believe me, I'm going to be proving it, and, and I think this is the best time to do it because a lot of the... Thank you so much, by the way, the gamer. <laughs> Love your videos. Thank you for the two. Anyway, uh, yeah, so this is a perfect game to eat while, while I'm playing because, you know, there's a lot of narration, so I don't want to talk over the narrator too much, which makes this game actually kind of hard to stream. <laughs> Especially because, uh, oh man, I didn't even realize the captions. Oh, that's going to be rough. Well, there's nothing I can do about it now. Hopefully you guys just uh, can hear. Oh, man, I didn't even <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Hey, you know what? Not too many people. Thank you for the don't know. Anyway, not, not too many people listen to live streams in, in public, right? And they just like, anyway, whatever. Uh, mm. Okay, I lied. I'm not going to be eating this right now because I'm pretty sure this is old. This is the hardest baguette I've ever eaten. Thank okay. you, Jammer Gamer. I could eat this whole thing on stream now, and I want to prove that I can do it. Thank you, raise me. But also, this is hard, and it's old, so I don't I think I can. This whole thing on stream now. I don't think you guys want me sick, because then all of my shorts are just going to sound annoying for a week. <sighs> Thank you so much. We haven't started it, but I'm glad you already think it's the best. Is it just because of the bread? Is the bread making that much of a difference for you? No. We haven't started it, but I'm glad no. Okay. That's the thing. Oh, I got the back. Making that much of a difference for you? Oh. Um. No. Okay. That is rancid. Oh, that is disgusting in every way. Wow. Oh. I'm gonna start back here. Mmm. Uh, that's rancid. Okay. Hold on. Disgusting in every way. <laughs> wow. Ugh. 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 That's disgusting. Oh. Sorry. Let me read some more super chats really quick. Mm. Lim64 says, hey, Dano, all I have to really say for now. <laughs> well, hey there, pal. Uh, Ray, uh, Riggy the Rabbit Monkey. Yes, that is a character that exists. Mira said, gotta go real quick. All right, see you soon. Hashtag pick up the phone. I can't pick it up. It's in the game. Yo, Dano, good content, bro. Keep it up. Thank you so much. Crystal good. Love your videos. Oh, I already read that one. My bad. 
Oh, uh, thank you for all the donos, you guys. Without the messages, I see you. Hello, I'm subbed, and I think you're the best. Thank you so much. Chicken the sequel. I have committed bread. What does that mean? Did you poison my bread? Is it your first super chat? Hey, thank you, Time of the Abyss. Time of the Abyss. Um. <laughs> Uh, oh, you bought the Riggy plush. Good job. Yeah, he's chilling over here. I don't know if you can see him. Hold on, let me move my mic. Um, there, there's Riggy over there. He used to stream Cuphead. Because Cuphead looks like Riggy. Yeah, actually, maybe one day. Um, thank you for giving us good content. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad you appreciate it. Anyway, maybe I'll stream Cuphead, but also I'm horrible at video games, so I don't know about that one. It just might get kind of boring to watch me stuck on the same boss for, like, hours. Um, hello, I'm Shadow Freddy. Hi, Shadow Freddy. There's an echo! What? No! Are you serious? How's there an echo? Hello? Oh, I hear it. I hear it. Dang it. How's there an echo? Dang it, I hate when that happens. So then the entire intro... Wow, I can't believe there's still... Well, thank you guys for sitting through that, but also, dang, I can't believe there was an echo that long. I'm sorry. Did it fix it? I fixed it, right? Oh, that's so annoying. There we go. We're good, right? No echo. Yeah? We're good? Cool. This doesn't have any boss fights? No, no, no. I'm saying Cuphead. Cuphead has a bunch of boss fights, and it would be really boring to watch that. <laughs> anyway. Hey, everybody. Let's, let's, let's play some Stanley Parable. All right. If you, in case you guys don't know, this is one of the best games of all time. I love it. But uh, this is also the Ultra Deluxe version, which means that there are more endings. Uh, you can't see the title screen, but it's okay. Anyway, there's more endings, which is cool. Um, you guys can't see that red outline, right? That's just my... Yeah, cool. I was just making sure you can't see my OBS outline. Anyway, yeah, so this is the Stanley Parable. This is one of the best games of all time. This is the Ultra Deluxe version, and I played it when it first came out about a year ago. Maybe it was two years ago? I don't remember. Uh, but uh, it was amazing, and I love it, and it, the jokes are... <laughs> Dude, it's just got my sense of humor. I love this game. I hope you guys love it, too, in case you haven't seen it. But, to be fair, it was popular a couple years ago, so I'd be kind of shocked if you haven't seen it. Um, <laughs> there we go. Let me just click out of everything. All right, I already had my energy drink for the day because I was uh, almost dead earlier. I had some friends over last night and uh, stayed up the whole night. I got two hours of sleep. So, yeah, I was, I was a little dead. I had to drink my energy drink a little earlier so that I could actually prepare for the stream. Chicken the sequel. Okay, then. <laughs> Sorry. All right, anyway. All right, here we go. Let's begin the game. Uh, dude, I, kn I know the entire opening monologue to this. Uh, hold on, wait. Well, how does it start? It goes, um, this is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked in a big building. I'm sorry, I'll let you guys listen to it. All right. The end was never the end. I've committed bread. <gasps> Thank you for the 20. Wow. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at the desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul lifting, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Sorry, I'm going to turn off the And then one day, sound. something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. 
Yeah, I fixed the I fixed the echo, so hopefully that's okay. <laughs> Sorry. Hopefully you guys didn't think that I was just. Oh, you guys might have just thought that I was muted because I wasn't actually saying anything. Hold on. All right, let me turn up the audio just a little bit on the. So the donation sound. It's mostly for me, but it's just like a little telephone. Uh, it's it's mostly for me, so that way I can. There we go. See, yeah. Do you love pizza? I do love pizza. Yeah, I'm gonna make it that quiet. Hold on. Let me see what I made it in super church for free. It was 10% volume. Okay, cool. It's mostly for me, so that way I can see that you guys have donated. I can't pay for college now. This is all my money. Two dollars? I'm, I'm, dude, what, what state do you live in? There's no way that two dollars is enough to pay for your college, but whatever. Thank you for the two dollars. <laughs> all right, let's see. Uh, love your vids. Thank you. I love you. All right. Stanley Parable, look at that. We are employee number 427. We're chilling in our job. Everybody's disappeared. How strange. Let's step out of the office, see what to do. Hello, Shadow Freddy. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yeah, I probably just missed something. Uh, thank you so much, mate. Let's see. Yeah, look at the look, everyone's gone. Oh, there's some cute computers and stuff that I can press. Clickety clickety. Let's see. Oh, hold on. Let me pull up chat again. This is a good game to just read chat the whole time. <laughs> there is an echo? No, no, not anymore. I think I fixed it, right? I'm pretty sure I fixed it. Hold on. Let me check again. I think I fixed it. I think that's just... Yeah, I fixed it. We're good. Cool. <laughs> oh, wait. Let me check the narration really quick to make sure you guys can hear everything good. Yeah, we're good. We're all good. Okay, cool. Can you play crab game? What is crab game? Is that something new? Dude, you guys got to keep me in the loop about everything. I'm getting old. I'm almost 20. Dude, you guys got to you guys got to update me on all the the new things. There's no echo. I fixed it. I'm kidding. I know that's just probably a late super chat. All right, here we go. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. <gasps> I just realized there's like a poll feature, isn't there? Wait, there's a poll feature for for live streaming. Am I wrong? Stream health. Oh, man, is there like a poll thing? Is that that's a thing, right? Hold on. Engage with your audience. Start a poll. Oh, fantastic. Okay, cool. Left or right. You guys can actually engage. Uh, here we go. Left, right. There we go. Perfect. Okay, this is what we're going to do. I literally just thought of this. That's so cool. All right, here we go. How do I get rid of this option? Okay, get rid of that. Start poll. All right, you guys vote. Should we listen to the narrator? Should we go left or should we go right? Vote on it. You guys have a couple seconds. Everybody vote. Look at that. <laughs> so the narrator told us to go to the left. Oh, this is so cool. This is going to make the game so much more fun. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mr. Rock Pikmin. Or Mrs. Rock Pikmin. The $2 is so amazing. There we go. Left or right. Oh, crud. Okay, hold on. Is there a way that I can remove? Oh, that's going to get in the way, isn't it? No, I don't want it to get in the way of chat. Hold on. Oh, that's so annoying. Hold on. Oh, that's, that's rough. That's really rough that it's going to get in the way of chat. Are you guys okay with that? I feel bad. I I'm reading out most of it. Hopefully you guys, yeah, you, it still shows a little bit, but that's really rough that it's getting in the way of chat. Um, 5,000 votes. Okay, I'm seeing it on my end. It says right, 52% right. That's so annoying though, that it's blocking the chat, dude. That's really rough. Okay, if I end the poll though, it goes away, right? Okay, cool, yeah, it goes away. There we go, 48% said left, the majority said right, so we're going to the right. This is going to make the stream so much more fun since you guys can engage this with me. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Thank you, I, say, I think Perhaps you're cool too. I wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Do you guys know how beautiful the employee lounge is? Watch this, watch this. Uh, Look at this! Yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all. Just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. It is pretty beautiful. Look Stanley at this stair, dude. Stood here, drinking it all in. Spell I cup. <laughs> dude, how old do you think I am? I have been on the planet for more than a day. They were saying that joke when I was in fifth grade, okay? Yes, fourth grade. It's been a while. Really, Third grade. Really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating. It is pretty captivating. Even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings really worth it i think it's pretty cool i don't know what you're talking about man i love it i think it's pretty cool look at this there, there's some nice drinks there's the, these cups point, somebody left a cup on the ground what does that say f u e o oh, fuel okay his overall personality it's possible that this is why everyone left hurtful dano please notice me i'm probably your only aussie viewer oh hey mate around waiting for more dialogue but when a long time had passed and there was no more, 
He decided that the game was trying to send him a message. All right, fine, my bad. I'll leave. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I wonder what's happening at the Wendy's. Enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. Sounds good. I'm not going to do Actually, oh yeah, we're going to do the poll again. Hold on. <laughs> All right, let's see. Should we let's do another poll? I'm sorry that it's going to get in the way of the chat up there, but it it's it's worth it cuz I I just I want to do the polls, dude. I I think it's really cool. All right. Uh door on the, Okay, wait. Back on track. Back on track or no? Question mark. Uh Yes, no. We're actually going to make this purposefully confusing, so that way you guys have to <laughs> figure it out. All right, should I get back on track or no? Let me know. Oh, thank you for the 99 cents. So he wants us to go through this door, get back on track, or we could wander further off track and just annoy him even more. It's up to you guys. What do you think? I'm seeing a lot of no's. I think I'm seeing a Dan the Man is a fan of Stan. Wow, professional rapper over here. I'm seeing a lot of, of, of just 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 kind of kind of uh, kind of rebels over here. You guys just kind of kind of hate the narrator. You want me to? <laughs> Rock Pikmin donated five through super chat. Thank you so much, Rock Pikmin. All right. Well, I'm seeing majority no. That's cool. We don't have to do the polls too long, because you guys just are, are pretty decisive. All right. Well, we're gonna get further off track. Stanley was so bad at following directions. It's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Hurtful. It's incredible you ain't five years ago. This is one of the best channels to watch. Thank you, Unknown. Look, Stanny, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I don't believe you. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. This whole time? Someone you've been neglecting, mm. Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please. <laughs> Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not making every decision by myself. I have like 13,000 people that are telling me what decisions to... Business Fine, whatever you say. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Hmm. She. Interesting. A woman? I've already got a woman. Her name is Leia, so I don't really. The, one to do the end is never the end. To reach out to her, if you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. I have my faith placed in another woman. Okay, her name is Leia. She's the best person that's ever existed. You know, there's never actually been a better woman on the planet than 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 my girlfriend. She's literally like just like the peak of all women. It's all downhill from here. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. So you know, I don't actually need this, but whatever you say, fine. Let's see. Where are we going? Your mom. Thank you. You got fished. Now the viewers and the narrators. Okay. I R S. Oh, first donation. Thank you. Oh, I'm stuck. Four two seven. That's horrifying. Gotcha. Oh come on! Did you actually think you had a loving wife? I have one in real life, so I don't need you. Too. Not a wife, a girlfriend. I'm trying to make a Hopefully, wife standing. one day. We'll see. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Something. Come inside. Thank you, Let mate. Me show you what's really going on here. What's really going on, huh? Why is there a couch? Who puts a couch in the middle of this a doorway? This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Death? Ooh. Uh, good morning, employee 427. Press Z on your keyboard. Okay. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. Hurtful. He has a job that demands nothing of him. Hurtful. And every button that he pushes Stop is it with a the cheese thing. of the inconsequential <laughs> nature of his existence. Inconsequential? What do you mean? I'm kind of amazing. There, pushing buttons. Doing exactly Ugh. what he's told to do. Now he's the room is changing. Now he's eating lunch. That desk wasn't there now before. He's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. Fat nuts. Your real name is Fat Nuts. Yeah, I kind of don't believe you, mate. But in his mind, ah, in his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. I do that too. Day that he returned to a work daydream. Was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Thank you for the two. A reminder that none of it would happen to me. Actually, yeah, I kind of feel that. Ricky tells me all about his cool adventures. Do you know how much he's actually been through? And I'm kind of over here like, dude, all I'm going to do for the rest of my life is make YouTube videos. It's kind of sad, actually. Press L to watch TV. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. 
Okay, that's new. I love you. I love you too. He stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Okay, press J to spend time with the boys. The boys. Look at, dude, this is horrifying. Look at that. That's kind of scary. Hopefully YouTube doesn't age restrict me for that. After they age restricted me for that one video, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm so paranoid of it now. Like, I literally, I won't even, um, <laughs> please do a video of Riggy doing the backflip. We'll see. I literally won't even put a guy shirtless on, on my shorts anymore because YouTube age restricted that one video of, like, the Vitruvian man. I mean, they unage restricted eventually, but I'm just, I'm still just so scared about it. So, he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, a choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. You guys can borrow a riggy all you want. Thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Uh, press Q to prepare dinner. Fantastic. I can cook. That's a cool skill. As he wandered through uh, his fantasy geez, world, geez, everything changed. He began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls, and down another was a yellow line. Spoilers! Spoilers! Places. Hey, we just started. This is the first ending. Can you chill? And he called it the Stanley Parable. The Stanley Parable. Press V to tell your kids a story. Oh, I have children? That's great. I can... Uh, dude, I can't wait. I always want kids so that way I can just tell them stories. I think I'm going to be a great... I think I'm going to be a great storyteller. Do you remember me from Rabbids Go Home? I actually do. I think I'm going to be a great storyteller. I'm not going to lie. Like, just, like, having kids and just being able to tell them stories and, and then them going to sleep, dude. I, I, I can't wait for that. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again and then again. And again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end. That he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path. Mustn't there be? Mustn't there be? He played just one more time. Just one more time. That sounds like an addiction. Jeez, it's like a drug. Just one more. Just one more. Press Z to tell your wife you love her. <sighs> Hello, wifey. I, uh, I don't know your name, but I really, really, I just want to say that you are the most beautiful mannequin thing that has ever existed even though uh, how did you meet your current girlfriend uh, in a film class you know I, I just want to say that I will be here for you always as long as you never leave me I will always be here to love and care for you okay but there is no answer how could there possibly be in reality <laughs> she left me after I told her I loved her same buttons he always has nothing has changed I've yeah, lived through that enough <laughs> Someone sent a picture of you before you. Which life is you what is wrong? With no! What is wrong with you guys? You wish you were the. Stop thirsting over me. It's freaking me out. But also, thank you. <laughs> this game loops every time. Don't get confused. Okay. <laughs> no, yeah, I've played it before. I know. I know the basic, you know, stuff. I just don't remember much of the dialogue of the endings. Press K to go to sleep. Sounds good. And I'm trying to. Where's my bed? It's all the way over there. World, he can never be anything but an observer. Observe these nuts. He remains here, he slowly <laughs> Sorry. Himself. Dana, please notice Lee. Oh, yeah. I noticed you, Ruffy. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Right, I won't. <laughs> Look at that, though. It's kind of really appetizing. I kind of really do want to press the button. Please press M to be at work in the morning. I kind of really want to. Can I press the button? I think I'm going to press the button. I'm going to press the button. You see? Can he just not hear me? Now we're just back in the office. How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Uh, press G to question nothing. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. <laughs> employee lunches love, employee lunches life. I agree. To my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. Yeah, not so different. once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Thank you for the 99 Perhaps. cents. Well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time you'll... That was horrifying. Please. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried... That was actually kind of horrifying. Please die? Ugh. Your mom, thank you. He's such, such, such genius. Such utter brilliance. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's it's raining here, and I just heard like the the like the the tapping on my glass, and I got freaked out for a solid second there. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Well, the game looped again. See, so that was one ending. This is the game with the majillion endings, okay? And that was a, you All know, those co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided I love Scottish to go to people. The I like your accent. He had simply missed a memo. Shrek is Scottish. How could I not love Scottish people? All right, laddie. Uh, what's your favorite food? Chicken and waffles, like as one dish, you know? Uh, anyway, uh, uh, um, yeah, so, so uh, I, I'm, I'm a third Irish. So I think like Irish people and Scottish people are like sister locations, right? So yeah, I love Scottish. What happens when you stop blinking? Oh, that is a great short idea. Hold on. I got to figure out who sent me that so I can, I can give them credit. Uh, hold on. Drool over Joe Kane. I love Joe Kane. Yes, he's my father. How long does it take you to make a video? Around four hours. Will my bank account be okay? Jeez, hopefully. Uh, oh, these are... Wow, there's a... Whoa, this is backed up. Oh my gosh, hold on. Okay, I'll go through the stream later, and, uh... <laughs> I'll go through the stream later and make sure I find that. But that actually, that's actually a really good short idea. What happens if you never blink? Brilliant short idea. Thank you so much, mate. All right. Uh, <laughs> let's see. We're going back. Thank you for the donos, mate. All right. There we go. All right. So we're back to the two doors. Which one should we say hi to Ava? Oh, hi, Ava. Oh, hope everything's going stellar. All right. Back at the two doors. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. He entered the door on his left. All right. Left or left or right. Left. Right. Let me know. Where are we going? Where are we going? So we went right last time, and I think there is there is a couple more endings we could get down that way, but it's up to you guys. Should we go down the left path again or the right path? I don't think I represent the small percent of Welsh viewers. Hey, hi there over there. I, I hope you're doing good. Thanks for tuning in all the way far away. That's pretty cool. I wonder what time it is for you. Anyway, yeah, we won't do the polls for every single thing. Just a lot of it. Okay, I'm seeing left this time. Cool. All right, the story of a rabbit. <laughs> this is the story of a rabbit monkey named Riggy. That's cool. All right, I saw left. We're going to go to the left. Left door this time. We're staying on track. I do remember you, monkey spit. I remember, because I remember I freaked out over your name. I was like, dude, you have all the usernames you could choose. It's kind of a weird one, but okay. Yet there was not a single person here either. There's no one here either? A wave of disbelief, Shout out Kingdom of Honor Booger. Up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. How to dispute with a coworker? Oh, how to solve a dispute? Let it ball up inside you, take it out passive aggressively, resent coworkers for not supporting you more. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, cool. Using slides to assure your employees that everything is okay. Make sure your slide has a slick blue graphic as the header. I'm throwing some bevel on all the text. This will ensure a calm and productive work environment. <laughs> Give us a bread cam, dude. I would if it wasn't moldy. I would love to eat the whole thing. I was actually planning on it. That was going to be a big deal. Is that I was going to eat the whole thing on stream. Your mom. Thank you, Kristen Rupert. You're so genius and brilliant. Your commentary is the best that I've ever seen. Number of slides on the slide. Chart, charts and slides, slides. Oh, interesting. Okay, so that does seem accurate. You got fish. Now the number of viewers are the narrators. I'm not getting it. Uh, rate at which the chart the same slides to pick the same information. <laughs> Dude, this game has so many, it has so much funny commentary. What do the people want? Things. Violet James, you are fired. He's fired. First donation of my life. Thank you, Axolotl fan. Uh, the boss appreciation minute. Oh, Dude, I do appreciate my boss. Although, to be fair, he kind of abandoned me, as well as every single other person in the building. Buy, buy your plush, and you are camera is blurry. It's not that blurry, is it? I think it's good, right? I just Maybe I just need to scoot forward a little bit. All right. Mm, there we go. There's a spider behind the graph paper. Totally not clone Ricky. No, there's nothing behind the graph paper. What are your dreams for the future? Mitosis, a boat, plant life, football, lunch, travel, comatose. Ugh, clear skin, metamorphosis, spring break, hope. That's funny. How'd you meet your girlfriend? Please notice me. I noticed you, Sonic fan. I met my girlfriend in a film class. All right, let's see. Coming to a staircase, Stanley, Stanley walked, walked upstairs, upstairs to, to his boss's, boss's office. office. All right, should we go up or down? Let me know. Let's see. Start a poll. All right, up or down? Thank you so much for the 99 cents. Up, down, there we go. I realize that this stream isn't gonna be as interesting as all the other ones mostly, and I I'm just now realizing it because I can't talk a lot over the narration, you know what I mean? Or that kind of ruins the experience for you guys. You guys don't understand what's going on. So uh, I'm sorry if it's a little bit more down than usual, but it's okay, we can, we can have a relaxing stream, right? We don't have to constantly be talking. <laughs> all right, up or down, let me know. He wants us to go up the stairs. Uh, please, can I make a video of Riggy? Dude, I didn't even read the rest of that, but yes, you guys can always use Riggy, okay? I think it's absolutely fine if you want to... Oh, that, that's close. We got 51. Ooh, that's close. Wow, that's the first one that's really close. You guys are... Okay, I'm seeing more up than down, so I think we're going to go up. Yeah, 55%. Yeah, okay. I'm seeing a lot more up than down. All right, sounds good. 
Yeah, dude, that was close. You guys were neck and neck there. Anyway, yeah, you guys can always use Riggy in whatever you want, okay? It's it's chill. They're like, maybe don't. Can you remember me from Rabbids Go Homes? I think so. Yes, I do. Hacker here, have I? I do remember you from Rabbids Go Home. Nice to see you again. Anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, there, that, that one was neck and neck. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah, you guys can use, thank you so much, Cheek of the Chicken. The real Cheek of the Chicken from the real Freddy Fazbear's Pizza? Wow! Anyway, uh, yeah, so there's, uh, ooh, can we get in the bathroom? I want to go in the bathroom. We can go in the bathroom. Look at this. It's wonderful. Thank you for the dollar. Money in the morning, money in the evening, money for breakfast, money crisp. Thank you. Danny, you should play Muck by Danny. Oh, really? Danny's actually got a, a game out already? That's cool. Maybe I will. Anyway, uh, yeah, you guys can use Riggy for anything. Maybe just don't make, like, a movie or, like, like like a movie that you sell, like, in theaters. You know, I just don't use it, don't use them for anything too official. But all those fan projects and stuff, I love seeing it. Ooh, Panda Bear. Ooh, Elevator. I don't know. I think we're supposed to go that way, but I'm going to go in the elevator. Whoops, took a bit. Thank you for the 9.99. Boo doo. Oh, I think there's copyrighted music in there, actually. I remember. Okay, well, it doesn't lead anywhere, but there's copyrighted music in that elevator, so we're not going to go that way. Sorry, boys. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, boss's office. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. I'm stunned. Shocked. There's not an indication Unravel, of human life. Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. Who could have orchestrated this? Was being held from him. What dot secret what is being held from him? Was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had Gilbert been keeping is a rapper. from him, and so the boss had assigned it Are these an books extra flat? secret pin number two eight. Four, five. Ooh, an extra the secret boss, pin number. Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. I wonder what it is. I, I can't possibly know what it is. Maybe I should just, uh, how much money does Riggy have? I don't know. Let's ask him. Okay, I, I, I don't know what, what the number could possibly be, but he indicated that it might be, it might be, what, what did he say? He said, Stanley uh, Stanley just sat around twiddling, twiddling his, his thumbs. thumbs. All right, let's Trying see. Trying to input anything on the device was useless. Since oh, if it's a frugal attempt, then. That the combination was two, eight, four, five. Uh, 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 let's just try out a random number. Let's just say, uh, let's say two, because it was my dorm number in college. Uh, eight, because I two, like the eight, infinity symbol. Okay, fine, I get it. Fine, fine, I'll stop stalling. Jeez, be like that. By simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. Sheer let's luck? Step into the newly opened passageway. <gasps> let's step into the newly opened passageway, mates. Look at this. Ooh, secret scary elevator. I wonder where it leads. Where are we going? What are we doing? I don't know. We're gonna see. Descending Ooh. deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. I feel a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest. I have a stirring of emotion in my chest. To think for himself. To question the nature of his job. I question what the nature of my job. I'm <laughs> sorry, that's kind of annoying. Years, it had never occurred to him. Okay, this is strangling this my neck. Question would not go unanswered for long. I'm gonna choke if I have this button too much longer. Uh, a new hacker named Fat Nuts will hack your Roblox account and send you. I don't have a Roblox account, but that's a uh, pretty scary, pretty scary threat there, mate. Did somebody just make a Roblox? Actually, you know, somebody used my fan art account to make a Roblox account, so I can kind of just... Can you play Gardic Phone with the other people in Shorts Wars next week? I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll, throw, the, I'll throw the idea by them, but, but we're all pretty busy, so... Through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. <gasps> Interesting. So should we go through the door that says Mind Control Facility, or should we go through the escape bit? Let's see. What? <laughs> That's funny. I, I, I have my stream pulled up on the side here. What does Ricky get to up on weekends? I don't know. Ask him. He just works with me, and then he kind of, you know, runs off to do whatever he wants. All right, let's do a poll. Let's go. Es uh, uh, I'll just put a question. Uh, escape or mind control? There we go. Start poll. Uh, all right, should we go into the escape route or the mind control facility? Let me know. <laughs> Dude, I should have said that, that this was going to be an interactive stream. I just, I literally remember Johnny Razor. Will your bank account be okay? I don't know. And 10 whole dollars. I might break the bank. I'm kidding. I know that's not a lot. Or that's a lot of money for some people if you got some other stuff going on. But hey, thank you anyway. I appreciate you. Anyway, dude, I remember Johnny Razor saying, could I please join Shorts Wars? Uh, we're going to be putting out a casting call soon, okay? Just, just, you'll see soon. Anyway, casting call, you know what I mean? Like a recruitment call. Anyway, um, uh, do you like Poland? I do like Poland. Poland is cool. What's wrong with Poland? I'm seeing 51. 
51% escape. Only 51% though. That's pretty close. Should we get, should we let it go a little longer, or is that that's probably the final one? All right, shout me out, please. Shout out Creeper Kid. Anyway, Johnny Razor actually mentioned the poll feature. Uh, <laughs> we were throwing out ideas for. You know, actually, that's spoilers. I can't say that. But anyway, I remember mentioning the poll feature, Drool Over Joe Kane. Oh, Joe. Anyway, I remember him saying, escape, you have 52%. That looks pretty locked. All right, cool. Anyway, I remember him talking about the poll feature, and so that's what we're doing is because, Dan, are you aware the Clone Rigi is live? No, he's not. <laughs> anyway, so I just literally got that at the beginning of the stream. I was like, oh. The had the word escape written on it. The truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. My death? That sounds vivid. Anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, Johnny was talking the about it. So so this is a flat shot. texture. That's so Stanley painful. No, it's not. It looks flat to me. No, it doesn't. That's 3D. Okay, we're good. Sorry, I don't mean to judge the way the integrity of this game. It was made amazingly. Thank you for the 199. He's saying I'm going to meet my end? Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. He's warning us. Ooh, there's a very scary red hole there. What do you guys... It's not going to be okay. All right, let's do one more poll. Do you guys think I should jump to my death or should I, uh, should I, should I stay alive? Uh, hold on. Jump. Yes, no. Uh, start poll. Should I jump in or should I leave and return to the my control facility? What do you guys think? Because that looks pretty scary and he said that I'm going to die. So I have the profile. That's cool. Oh, you have like the profile riggy picture still? Okay. <laughs> I'm seeing 75% people want me to jump to my death. All right. Sounds good. Guess we're jumping. Yeah. The end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Maybe he was lying. Maybe I'm not actually going to reach my death. And Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise. He reflected that his Thank life you. had been of no consequence whatsoever. <sighs> Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story. Trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps Aiden the Creator 17. Thank you. I'll write you down. Like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. <laughs> Welp, I agree. What if what have you guys done to me? You just willingly caused my death so easily. Uh so anyway. <laughs> Ooh, it stopped. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator. The narrator. As Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. Enormous In a metal single jaws. Visceral instant. Stanley was obliterated. Hi British. I'm Dano. <laughs> Sorry, I'm British too. Body, Third British. Killing him instantly. So I let you guys choose, and you decided that I would get just crushed instantly. Can I get a shout-out? Shout-out Pamela Ford. All right, well, you guys killed me. It's your fault. <laughs> the Stanley parable. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office. Hi, hi. As alive as ever. Hi. Wait, what hi, exactly hi, hi. There did we the go. Think he was going to accomplish? I don't know. What did he think he was going to accomplish? He just was trying to torment me, I guess? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, Puzzle. death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? I don't do military time. Tell me what actual time it is there. You said 2317? Okay. Anyway, look at this. I, this is a beautifully constructed room. I'm not going to lie. Look at this museum. Hi, Canada. I'm Dano. I'm kidding. That's cool. Canada. Dude, Canada's pretty close. Hey, Ryan Reynolds is from Canada. I think Keanu Reeves is from Canada. They're like two of the coolest people in the world. At least some of the most attractive people in the world. Short idea. I got you, Aiden. Thank you for the for the short idea. I'll make sure to credit you when I make it. Computers and stuff. Yeah, so I think this is a museum that actually... <laughs> I love your videos about the Riggy plush, and I subscribe to your channel. Thank you, mate. Okay, this is a museum that shows some behind the scenes, but also it kind of spoils a lot of endings. So I don't think we should actually be here. <laughs> um... Uh, yeah, we should uh, probably just kind of hop out. Let's see if I can find... Hey, Stanley's office. That's cool. Here's the evolution of Stanley's office over the years. Um, anyway, yeah, so we, we actually... We can't be here because uh, it's going to spoil some endings for us. So let's find the exit really quick. Uh, I have the profile still. Nice. Let's see. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Don't see, I'm not seeing anything. La, 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 la. I'm ignoring you. Your dad. Wow. They were, Christ, Kristen, uh, I... I... Pff. I think you're, I think, I really appreciate you being here, 
but also, why are you here just saying the same thing? Dano, Dano, you look like a piece of cheese. Why, why is this still a thing? Can we come up with a funnier joke? <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyway, G Christian, or Kristen, uh, try, you know what, Kristen, I challenge you. I don't, I'm not saying this so that you donate more money, but I'm just saying try and come up with something just better, okay? You've got your dad, your mom. Try and come up with something that's just the greatest chat message of all time, okay? Oh, that's my challenge for you in particular. How look at these two. Wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. To be free. Uh, well. Let's just flip the game off then. Since, uh, apparently this Can lady is so against us playing you it. see how much they need one another? Need no, these nuts. Perhaps not. I'm sorry. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop I do the remember your royalty. They both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to All right, let's do another escape. poll. Should we quit the game? I'm kidding. <laughs> Stream for FNAF 2, maybe. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time... So, uh, we just, uh got destroyed. I prefer your voice, Dana. Oh, thank you, Mirror. Yeah. Uh, I think this will be the only time that I play a game where I can't talk as much because I like the sound of my own voice, too. So, uh, <laughs> I'm kidding, mostly. Anyway, but yeah, next time next time we'll play a game where I can talk a lot. Oh, I think I want to play Octodad next time. Or maybe Captain Toad. Toad. We'll see. What, what could it mean? mean? Actually, Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. You know what I think we're going to do? At the end of every stream from now on, I think I'll have you guys vote which game I should play next. That sounds cool, right? I really like this poll feature. I really like it. I want to start making animations for YouTube, and I'm worried I'm going to be called called out for your art. No, nah, you, dude, just start, okay? It's always embarrassing for everybody at first, but you still need to start, okay? <gasps> new content. Interesting. Should we go through the new content door, or should we do some more of the classic endings first? What do you guys think? Hold on. Let's see. Really quick, should we? So this is part of like the the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe is the new content door. Uh, it might actually open up some stuff for us, but but first let's let's check really quick. Start a poll. Uh, on uh, why can't zombie fingers use touch screens? I don't know why can't they? Fluffy old Kirby. Uh, okay, hold on. New content. Yes, no. All right, start poll. Let me know. Do you guys want to go through the new content door, or do you want to keep on track with the classic game for a little while longer? I think this door will still stick here for a while. Wow, that was immediate. It was 100% for a couple seconds. Really? That bad? You guys want to go through the new content? Thank you for the 50! Wow, buddy, that's crazy. Wow, thank you. But also, that's insane. <laughs> uh, where does air come from in a balloon pumper? Well, people people put the air in the balloon pumper. And then that's where it comes. It doesn't just generate air. What? It, okay. <laughs> Please give Reggie a raise. You already got one. All right, well overwhelming yes for going through the new content door sorry wow new content oh, okay new content what does that mean new content i don't know what does it mean Ooh, this is a fast little elevator thing i kind of like it tell reggie i said hi sounds good i will this is cool we're on a little train for the new content hello and thank you for playing the stanley parable ultra deluxe Hello. As you may know, the Stanley Parable... 2013? Ooh, I got that wrong in my short this morning. I said 2014. That's my bad. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. That's horrifying. Imagining of the game for consoles and home computers. Thank you, the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable. More! <gasps> the world over. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Does that guy sound like Alex Hirsch? Sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Thank Deluxe Thank you, mate. That's content. so nice of you to say. And new I content? special yet but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure banjos to reach Pluto gotta try a little bit harder than that is the elevator yep um, is it broken what's going on here should we should we be moving somewhere or, uh, oh there we go 
All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. I'm ready too. I'm excited. We're doing the new content, baby. Let's go. This elevator wasn't in the original game. This is already new content. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Mostly tea. That's a good one too. Liam Humphrey. Them? Okay. Oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. In a moment. Riggy is secretly the narrator? Probably. All right, hold on. Uh, what if humans never existed? I'm gonna go back in the stream so I can find your name and credit you. I love your videos, you're the best shorts creator, you've taught me a lot of interesting things, however, your mom taught me a lot last night too. <laughs> well, that shouldn't have made me laugh, that was so dumb, All but right. I appreciated it. All right, let's see, it's the jump circle? Guys, we can jump. <gasps> 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 This is the best thing I have ever experienced in my life. We'll leave it at 27, because that's my lucky number. Oh my gosh. I just realized. Stanley, 427, 27, part of... There has to be something else, right? Yeah, I'm sure there's something else. Another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. Speak for yourself! I got to jump! That was amazing! Can you please play Roblox? Uh, I don't know, man. I'm still on the edge about it. We'll see one day. Just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. That would be fun. Counter 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if oh wait, there's more. Very good. He almost had a meltdown there. I knew there had to be something else. Hello from Chile. I'm ready for whatever it is. Here we go, more new content. Let's see it. Ah, uh. that's it. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! You see, Stanley, this is what happens when greedy video game developers, with no respect for their fan base, rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. They did not rush it. It took them three years to make the Ultra Deluxe version, and I remember waiting so eagerly. And it's hard to believe one of them actually says. Test achievement, please ignore. I love that joke. Assurance Department signed off on this. Nobody. I'm infuriated and I'm offended. And I I'm infuriated and I'm offended. And hold them personally accountable. Hey, it's not called Twitter anymore. It's called X, actually. Too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. It I'm so hurt. That's all the new content, guys. That, that was it. That was everything. I'm kidding. Your broken ankles? Game. Horrifying, we'll but okay. to get back to what the Stanley Parable is really about. No frills. No gimmicks. No gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. All right, sounds good. What do you say, friend? I say good idea. Let's get back to it. Let's just get back to it. <laughs> it's okay. That's not all the new content. There's more. <gasps> what? It's different. Interesting. <gasps> there's the old there's the old office. Wow, such fond memories. You remember that? That seems a little too complicated. Come over here. In the vent, I want to show you something. Show these nuts? No, I'm good actually. I don't. I don't feel like going down the vent. That seems a little creepy. Oh, you don't want to see the cool surprise I made for you? Well, fine. You're a dork anyway, so who cares? Hurtful? I'm uh, fine. I'll go see the new surprise. Wow, are you gonna talk to me like oh, that? Never mind. You're not a dork. Well, just because he admitted it, now I'm just gonna leave again. Oh, dang, I thought there would be a cool back and forth, but I guess he wasn't going to stop me. All right, let's go th crawl through a vent. <laughs> Dude, I've seen so many... There's. I wonder how accurate it is crawling through vents. I've seen it in so many movies, but I feel like vents are a lot smaller than people think. There's no way people can actually fit through vents. I know my vent is like... Dude, my vent is tiny. I could maybe fit, like, a leg in there, but that's okay. about it. You remember how cheap Thank you. This is pretty. I like the glows. Turned out to be. Well, it got me thinking about the past. And how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and Thank tucked you. it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Take a look. Dude, this place is beautiful. Look at it. I mean, there's a vent leading into it, which is kind of weird, and some boxes and stuff. Oh, thank you so much for the $3. Look at this, though. There's uh, th This is kind of beautiful. It reminds me of, like, Skyrim or, or uh, Dark Souls or something. You know what I mean? But also, I've never... Dano, Dano, you look like cheese. What is it with the cheese thing? Come up with a better joke. The memory zone. The memory it's where zone. I've been storing all my favorite memories, so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Google. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. 
Look at how beautiful those mountains are in the background. I actually might need to remember that, because I've been struggling with backgrounds for the Riggy series. <laughs> uh, you know, Riggy's Town, Toonville. It's, uh, yeah. anyway, yeah, that's actually beautiful. I might need to remember that for you inspiration. See, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable good was times. before Look at all it was the good times. with a cheap re-release? Remember back in October of 2013, when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Integrity. Back then, it all meant something. Oh, the waste. The demo. Oh, the demo. Look at this. A trip down memory lane. Smile because it happened. Ah, oh, the Stanley Parable. What a once great game. Look at this. Nominees and things. New video game releasing today. Beautiful. Los Angeles Times. Stanley Parable deals. Tough choices. Oh, that's spoilers. <laughs> Look at this place. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at the mountains. Look at that cabin in the far off distance. It's perfect. You inspired me to be an animator. I'm grateful that I could inspire people, mate. Look at this wonderful bench. Ah, copyrighted music! Copyrighted music! Copyrighted music! Ah! Ah, get rid of the music! Phew, that was scary. <laughs> 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com James Stephanie Sterling writes 10 out of 10 quote, beautiful I'm a fan of you I'm a fan so of you Miss Tennis Bowl or Miss Tennis Bowl more than games end up less than any form of art Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever Play created. Portal I will one day Did you hear that Stanley Every game ever created that's how grand and all encompassing the original Stanley Parable was it was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim. Hey, you mentioned Persona Skyrim. Three. It was Persona 3? Yeah, I don't know about that, mate. It's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk, Maho. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. <laughs> hey, I like elevators. Speak for yourself, mate. Do you have a pet? I do. I have two. Their names are Abby and Bambi. And I love them. Two chihuahuas. Cool, little cool collectible figurines. Ooh, look at this door. Oh, look at that. The Stanley Parable Collector's Edition. Dano, you should have a talk show host <laughs> since you love to talk. No, I, yeah. doesn't everybody hate talk show hosts? Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice Richly and games, stimulating. And one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Nine Stanley? out of ten? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't Look at those leaves. That's so pretty. Content. It didn't it need new content. To be left alone. To spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. Dude, tragically, there are a lot of video games that just need to be left alone. What's over there? Oh, the 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 serious room. That's so sad. They got rid of that ending. Look at that. The greatest wealth is memory. Oh, these were simpler times, Stanley. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Wait, hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. Thank you, mate. What's this? What's Jenny. Thank you. Thank you, Jenny. Oh no. Oh god no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, the online video game distributor. The I have online these video game years. distributor. I can't even imagine what's being collecting down here. Maybe. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Surely. That's funny. I don't think they could get the rights to the actual Steam logo, so this just looks <laughs> kind of off brandy. Don't give Reggie a raise. Okay. I don't know who Reggie is, so I can't possibly give him a raise. I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and Maybe. funny. Not next stream, but I'll definitely play a death room. To be more irritating than entertaining. Absolutely unfunny. irritating. Unfunny! That was great. Oh, I just got smacked. Work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable. <gasps> it's raining. It's already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. I want to be in Shores Wars no matter the cost. We're not going to charge you to be in Shores Wars, mate. But it's okay. We're going to have a casting call soon. We'll just... We'll, 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 you'll see. Okay? We'll see. When is, why is season two okay, coming in winter? One, Better than a year, right? While the idea for the game is good, mm, 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 for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley, I'm not preachy, am I? A little bit. You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. You're a little preachy. This is actually quite shocking for me. It's actually quite shocking for me. Always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. 
You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as Thank you for the one I know. Well, I always thought it did, but maybe it wasn't. Yeah. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track. <laughs> Venting. Get away from me. I feel <laughs> play Among Us on stream one time. But no, I would get stream sniped. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. Eventually I'll play Delta I promise. I love Delta Rune. Got to say. Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long winded explanations of what's happening. Gender I'm envy? Skip button. I'm I'm a sorry, I don't mean to make you feel bad about yourself. Hey, well, you're pretty yeah. just the way you are. You don't need to look do like that. me, okay? If I'm truly too preachy then. then maybe I kinda hate the way I look sometimes too. Moment, surely, you know what's funny? Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews you know. from the record. Only positive reviews. Someone donated 500? What? Today, and it's Are you serious? I do anything for the customer Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. No way somebody donated 500. Hold on. Fallout 76, 500? I'm not seeing it. I feel like it would have lasted if somebody donated 500. But if they did, that's insane, dude. I'm not seeing 500, but if they did, that's insane, and I appreciate you so much. Narrator sounds like the big, little big planet narrator. I don't know, maybe it is. L uh, Kevin Brighting, look him up. Anyway, uh, dude, I, I actually, okay, so I've been having a problem with my bed. I don't know if you can see, but the sheets are all stripped and everything. It's all gone. Uh, it's, you know, usually I got my flannel thing back there. Johnny Razor reference, huh? <laughs> no, but uh, anyway, yeah, I, I've been having problems, dude. Spiders, like, all the time. Like, I literally wash my sheets, like, three times a week just to, like, like in the past, like, couple weeks because I was getting so... I was getting bit, like, a million times, and I'm still getting bit. And it's not bed bugs either. It is spiders because these are giant bites. Um, how tall is Riggy? I think he's, like, five inches canonically, but also he can size change sometimes if he feels like it. Anyway, so I blew up an air mattress couple days ago or yet yeah, yeah a couple days ago because I'm, I'm having friends over and I bought air mattresses and I realized hey you know what maybe I could sleep on an air mattress and not get bit anyway I set it next to my mirror and I woke up and it, whoa what just happened the whole world is black I'm running I'm that's scary anyway uh <laughs> so uh Dano you look like a croissant thank you I'll take croissant anyway uh, I I turned over and looked in the mirror and I was horrified I was horrified. Dude, I look scary when I wake up, apparently. Deno, you dropped this crown. Or maybe it was just because I've never seen myself when I wake up. I don't know, man. Dude, Leia's going to have to wake up next to that face one day. Ugh. <laughs> or we'll sleep in different rooms. We'll see. No, I'm kidding. Hopefully not. I don't think we're going to have, like, marriage problems or anything. So that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you, with just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. It's one yes. Have so I can um, and I'm very do personal things with it. Delivered. No more <clears throat> listening to me rambling on and on and on. No, 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 no. The Stanley Parable is a game for the... Skip. Shout out Melinda Fillion. Back, you see, you were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and... Verbal flourishes? On the nature of choice in video Interesting, games. Skip. Of course. Sorry, I just, I don't have a lot of patience. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? Heads up, someone donated 500. I'm seeing that again. No way. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption... 500, I see it. ...fingertips to go poof, and it's all over. Oh, man, somebody named Clone Riggy donated 500 and said, You the best. Thank you so much, mate. That's so nice of you. 500 is insane. Absolutely insane. I appreciate you so much. That's... You guys do not have to... Garden Warfare 2, maybe one day. I love that game. But also, dude, you do not have to donate 500. That is a lot of money, okay? I just okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount thank of time you, dude. The I, I can't explain how much that means to me. I appreciate you so much. That okay, 500 is just problem. insane, though. I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes. It's not unendurable by any means, but it's well, there's really only so, so apparently, much. every time we skip, can you play Five Nights at Freddy's? Maybe one day. Uh, every time we skip, it skips a lot longer than it should. Uh, interesting. So, let's skip one more time because it's fun. Thank you, Royal Pairs friend. Stanley. Stanley, please don't push the button again. It's been 12 hours. You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skip... Well, to be fair, day. do you remember how mean he was? Why don't your teeth fix God, themselves? Shorts no idea. The uh, I did one about Stanley, caveman teeth, which kind of explained that already. Gone. I've looked at it from the door is gone? Oh, that's every scary. One those walls a thousand times. Every one of the walls? No door, Stanley. There's no door. There's, there's no door? Scary. Okay, skip again. 
Oh, Stanley, you're back. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, I have someone to talk to again. This plant is dead. I think it's been a week. A week? Or two weeks? I've been sitting here all that time. Just sitting. I love you too, Mr. Monitor. 99? Oh, hold on. That's crazy. Thank you, but that's crazy. Dude, that's a lot of... Thank you, mate. That's insane, though. Would you think that it's exactly the same as always? Doesn't that feel... Oh, man. You guys are being too nice to me today. You guys are being too good to me. I, I just... I appreciate you. I gotta say, I appreciate you for showing up and everything. Sorry, I'm not listening to the narrator. I just... You know what? Skip. I just... I'm getting tired of him, actually. Please play out Fallout 76. Maybe one day. I say it with all the games. It's guys, I just... You know, maybe one day. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. He sounds kind of mad at me for skipping him that time. To think about you and about us and about Look at this, dude. It's dying. I've had so much time. Minecraft sounds good. Keeping track after a year. Have you ever sat down in one place and not moved for one entire year? He that sat in place for a year, dude. That's crazy. To begin with, there is only regret. There is only the turning wheel of missed opportunities. I felt nothing at all but regret for the longest time, Stanley. L. Hey. Is he dead? That's horrifying. He's just dead, guys. Daddy Dano. Please stop saying Daddy Dano in the chat. Thank you for the dollar. But also, don't say Daddy Dano in the chat, please. You guys, do you know how young most of the viewers are? I mean, it's, you know, I'm not judging you for being young, but also you cannot. Can you explain the lore of Riggy? No, I can't spoil it. Anyway, you guys can't say Daddy Dano. Do you know how young you guys are? There's, pl there's, there's more than enough YouTubers that, yeah, I don't even want to make the joke, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> you, please don't call me Daddy Dano. Please, that's freaking me out. Stop! Stop! Ah, this is what happens. You can't tell people not to do things. You tell people not to do things, and they do it. Ugh, at least none of the donations have said Danny, Daddy Dano yet. Because <laughs> that, ugh. What is beeping? It's kind of annoying. Sounds like a smoke alarm or something. Okay, okay, give me the button. Give me the button. I need to... Thank you. That they was... Didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was age to limit for point. what? Um, no age limit condition. to watch me. But whatever jokes, whatever works, dude. The jokes they bemoaned, they where the jokes? Where are the jokes? Dude, he's just going off. Oh, the clock fell off the wall. That's sad. Tree is still dead. Thank you for the dollar. Okay, skip. Yeah, sorry, he's just getting a little boring to me. You know what I mean? I don't really care. And there's nobody here again. Clock's still there. Tree's still dead. Room is pretty much the same. Skip. The end is never 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 the end. Kind of getting freaked out. The end is never 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 the end. Kind of has a vibe though. Never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end. sounds good. Ugh, it's starting to drip from the ceiling. Can you guys see that? That's a bit spooky. Ooh, smoke to smoke. Uh, oh, there's a little smoke. Oh, that's the smoke alarm that was beeping, probably. A little drippy, a little dark, a little grungy. This place is kind of getting horrifying, actually. Ah, uh, the building caved in. I'm hearing scary wind noises. Dude, this is like some, uh, this is like some... Ew, this is like some uh, some backroom stuff that I'm getting. Okay, skip, skip, because I want to get away from that. <gasps> oh, it's bright and lovely. That's so cool. We got the sun coming. That's good. We got the sun. We got the sun, guys. We're good. It, it's okay. <gasps> Plant life. It's beautiful. Look at the overgrown plants. It's so pretty. I see trees out there. Are we going to get to escape? We're gonna get to see the trees, the overgrown trees. Look at how beautiful. Let's skip one more time. It's so nice. Thank you for the dono, but also that's... I'm hearing scary backrooms noises. Okay, um, we're just gonna hop past that.
I'm actually really horrified. Father Dano? Oh my gosh. Daddy Dano, Daddy Dano, Daddy Dano. Thank you, guys. Can you? We're done. We're done. We're, we're done. Please stop. <laughs> That's okay. I'm uncomfortable. The room is now tilting. Oh, there's a hole back here. I guess there was too much scary stuff, and now the thing is destroyed. Can I press the button again, or is it out of service? Yeah, button's dead. Wow. Oh. It's just sand, as far as the eye can see. Hopefully this music isn't copyrighted, or else I'll start crying. Wow, look at all the sand, guys. I, I don't know where we are. Kind of lost. It's kind of beautiful, though, isn't it? It's it's kind of beautiful. I don't know which way to go off, though. We're just going to keep walking. Hopefully the music isn't copyrighted. I'm going to start talking really loud in case it is. I'm kidding. Um, hopefully, you know what? I think, actually, I'm just going to mute it. So that way, uh, Dano can shout me out. Yes, yeah, shout out Virus 66. Again, I'm not sure if the music is copyrighted or not. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm playing really carefully with all this stuff because somebody actually... Not Daddy Dino? Okay. <laughs> Caddy the Cooper. Thank you for the two, even though horrible. Anyway... Uh, <laughs> hey, thing cut off. Anyway, I got copyright striked actually a couple days a couple days ago. It was false. Thankfully, I refuted it or I emailed the guy. Actually, will the Riggy plush bootlegs on Amazon be taken down eventually? Yeah, I'm working on it right now. Anyway, uh, <laughs> somebody uh, clone Riggy is still behind the paper. No, he's not. Uh, we reset. That was it. That was the whole new content. We got to go in this in the the sand. I'm kidding. There's more new content actually. But uh, okay, so really quick, I have to go to the restroom. If someone calls you daddy, go get milk. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you guys keep calling me dad, I'm going to leave for the milk. and I'm never coming back. Anyway, no. Uh, what was I talking about five seconds ago? I was going to say something. It was important, and I don't remember what it was. Uh, well, rip. Anyway. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Perhaps I've missed a memo. That's all. Surely I've just missed a memo. Is there... Uh, uh, that's, that's good, is it? Oh! <gasps> New, new content. Interesting. Let's go back. Good. You noticed my sign. I did notice the sign. I have something very exciting to show you. I'm excited. He's got something very exciting to show us. I'm excited. We're going to get to see new things. Can you play with me on any game? I'll do anything. Ooh, I don't... I don't mm, parasocial relationships. I don't really want to interact with fans too much. I, I will do some kind of fan event, though, I think. Like some Minecraft server thing where you guys can all stream... Or where you, you guys can all join. We'll see. We'll see. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly Stop. disappointing this ultra-deluxe version has turned out to be. It was kind of disappointing. was a landmark. You know what, actually, is there a streamer mode that I can turn on? Audio, presentation, controller vibration, video. Yeah, there's no streamer mode. And any new content for it should live up to that legacy. It Except should, shouldn't it? Ultra deluxe Forget this nonsense. Thank you so much for the 99 cents. Grape jelly, I like that username. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the Ooh, first epic time music, it's rising. <gasps> the Stanley Parable 2! Thank you so much, Cat Gamer. First super chat. Epic. Look at this. Yes, Investor Showcase. To a, measly re -release with a, few minor a sequel. We're doing a sequel. Oh, look at how beautiful the grass is. A new experience built from the ground up. So many possibilities. So many different directions. Yes, truly. I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable Ha, <laughs> 427. But let's take a look at some of the features. My father, can you please get the milk? Okay. I figure that if I can loosely organize the show floor, the sounds good. Concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It's actually a good way to make video games, right? Is make the concept first and then build the game around it. Scientific or logical, really. The concepts have to be good, though, and I think that's what was missing here. The Stanley Parable 2! Look at this, everyone! It's the sequel! <gasps> the Bucket! Okay, I remember playing this. Honestly, the Bucket is my favorite part about this game. <laughs> I love this so much. Look at it, here comes the Bucket, guys. Was that it was confusing and paradoxical. It was that paradoxical. It sense of reckless despair in those Look at how pretty this place is. Well, yeah, I please stop. I agree. Thank you, Virus 66. I've engineered a Although, don't be a suck-up. No, I'm kidding. 
It's the Stanley Parable. <gasps> Here it comes. The, bucket. the beauty. See, Stanley, the glory. The, the magnificence of this bucket. Calm and ease. Will fill your ease. Mind your calm. It's true. As long as you hold on to the bucket, Give it to me. I need it. I need the bucket, Stanley please. Will feel perfectly normal. And perhaps can I get it? Is it stuck well, behind the glass or can I have it? For the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. I believe it. It's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine Please stop. Pain in the ass that would be? Ah, potty mouth, potty mouth, potty mouth. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I can hold the bucket! Guys, I can hold the bucket, I can hold the bucket. I'm so excited. Here it comes, here's the bucket. Can you feel it? I feel it. The glow of comfort. Oh, I feel it! The bucket! Yes. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? It does, doesn't it? Just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. Really? <gasps> uh, guys, I went from negative 12 down to negative 11. Just from picking up this bucket. That's, that's me on the attractiveness scale. That's amazing. Guys, I have a bucket. I have a bucket. For most enjoyable bucket in a video game? They should, because this would win. Be an award if it isn't already. I agree. This is the best thing ever. <gasps> New achievement. Oh, my dog's barking. I might have to go to, f to fix that in a minute. Infinite hole? It just won't end. <gasps> Guys, should we go down the infinite hole? I'm so excited. Guys, I have the bucket. This bucket immediately gave me immediate riz. Look at this bucket. Look at how beautiful this bucket is constructed. Look at it. Look at the, look at the, oh, look at the texture on the inside. The glow. Do you see that? The beauty of this bucket? The absolute magnificence of this simple bucket is... Stanley. Here's an idea that I'm truly Beautiful. fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact... Shout out, Tonka Rocks. That's right. Infinite falling. Actually, you Portal did that, but okay. End of time, if you like. A stunning Should we do the infinite fall? No, please stop. Let's do it, let's do it. Infinite fall. Whee! We are infinitely falling you with see, our bucket. It is wonderful, it is wonderful because I'm with my bucket. Concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, yeah, probably. That sounds like something you do. Infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. G to return to the surface. I don't actually want to return to the surface. I'd rather just fall with my bucket for eternity. Hmm. I'm kind of relaxed. Now I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. No, I'm okay. On the sooner rather than later. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, mate. A middle school? I'm definitely not marrying a middle school, but also. There's a, uh, my heart already is owned by a very particularly amazing I woman. I quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. Is it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. Infinity so means it goes on forever. Hi, I'm back. Hi, thanks for coming back, Aiden the Creator. Nature. It's more of a... Okay, well, good for you. you he lied! The hole. You found me out, Stanley. I'm a liar and a cheat, and you're so clever. Look, I think the issue here is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. It was pretty cool. A normal person actually wants to fall infinitely. Me. Bro is I drooling over the bucket? I am. Look at this beautiful bucket. You don't have a bucket this beautiful, do you? Maybe Look at this thing. Problem. You're the problem. I have a bucket. Look, I can never be a problem. I have the most beautiful bucket in the world. New mug. Wow. Why don't we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the whole mostly... Infinite. It's not mostly infinite, it's that just pretty deep. You? Then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. Fine. We'll Great. go back to the top. Uh, I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas. Oh, that, that's a good idea. Maybe one day. I love that game though, so probably one day actually. So, uh, we experienced the infinite hole. However, I do really like the hole, and also I have a bucket. So, uh, mm -hmm. my son, Frosty G uh, Gaming, why is the plus ship time so long? It's just makeshift. They have to put it through a bunch of tests and things. It it's hard to explain, but I think it's a bunch of legal mumbo jumbo. Oh, uh, I accidentally fell down the hole. <laughs> my bad. The problem is that you like holes too much. Not normal. 
a normal person. I think I like holes uh, the equal amount that everyone else likes holes. What I do like more than everyone else is this bucket, particularly. No, 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 no. You have a weird sort of... Oh. Did the hole seem even shorter to you? I don't know. I haven't figured it out, man. I help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. I mean, a little less, actually. Why is there cigarettes on the bottom of the hole? I an infinite hole, but I didn't think it was that not infinite. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. <laughs> Leftover mac and cheese? Don't insult my bucket, okay? Back off. Seriously, this is the most beautiful thing that has ever been created. Stop simping for Dano. I agree. Simp for the bucket. That's what you guys need to do. Be more, be more respectful of this thing, okay? Look at its utter beauty. Look at its utter majesty. Look at the glory that is this bucket. Raise... TT. I don't know what TT is, but also look at this bucket, guys. You know what? Stop simping over me. Call it... Call the bucket daddy bucket. How about that? Okay, you can do that. We're jumping down the hole again. Shout out Goo202. Okay, they get you back in the hole. Well, guess what? I have a bucket, pal. Wow, the hole is definitely getting shorter. If you keep jumping down the hole, yes, it's fun. It is growing less infinite. I don't know. You'll have to see. Also, shout out Paper Saper. I like that name. I think the hole is shrinking. That's what's going on. No explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Simp for the bucket. I have been simping for the bucket. I will continue simping for the bucket. It's a beautiful bucket. Why don't you guys simp for the bucket? Send some super chats about the bucket instead of super chats about me. Look at it. Oh wow. Some of my lie has come to haunt me. Not only is the hole not infinite. Thank you. Does that make any sense? At this point, it's more of a concavity or even a very aggressive divot. How is this still appealing to you? Because I like holes. Actually, I'm more obsessed with the bucket than holes, but whatever. It is kind of scratching the itch, though. Who am I to judge? I don't know. I like holes. Do whatever it is you're here to do, and hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. I am here. I am here to chill out with my bucket and enjoy life. Okay. And I actually think it's not very nice of you to 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 disagree with my. Okay, fine. We'll leave. It's not working. Hmm. Is the um teleport button not working? You sure? Yeah. Well, I mean. I really don't have an explanation. It was working just a moment ago. Try it again. It's not working. Still nothing. Well, I, I wanted to jump in the hole again. That's actually really hurt. That's that's sad. This. I'm out. Goodbye, Stanley. You couldn't bear to be away from the hole, and now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked for. It's a win for everyone. You get to be with the hole. I get to do literally anything else. <laughs> Take care, Stanley. I hope you and the whole have a wonderful rest of eternity. So he left. But I do have a bucket, so I don't really care. So you know what we're going to do is take this time to just admire the beauty of this bucket. Look at it. Look at the three ripples that are so magnificently placed. What do you mean you like holes <clears throat> in a non-sus way? But also look at this bucket. I like this bucket more than holes. Look at this thing. Look at the handle. Look at the perfect wood on the handle. Look at how methodical it was made. This curve is such a, a beautiful shape. Other people like curves on people. I like the curve on the bucket. I don't know which... Bucket gang. Yes, thank you. Everyone join the bucket gang. Look at how beautiful this thing is. Oh my gosh, the hole is starting to fall. I'm horrified. I think we're going down to the uh, underworld. But also, I don't care because I have a bucket to comfort me. Honestly, I could go to the down as long as I have my bucket with me, okay? If I have this bucket then everything is fine. It's just like the companion cube in Portal, okay? It's an inanimate object, but I have fallen deeply in love with it, okay? I might actually leave Leia for this bucket. That was a joke. I love my girlfriend. I will never leave Leia. Hold on, I'm gonna mute the audio because it might be copyrighted, but anyway, look at this bucket. I just wanna continue. Make a short about the bucket. I make, I actually should make a short about the bucket. You know what, that's what my short about, that's what my short promoting the stream today should have been. It should have been like, what's the best bucket ever? <laughs> Change your perspective, hold on. <gasps> Look at that, me and the, what is this trash game? It's called the Stanley Parable, it's not trash, it's a work of art, but I appreciate your uh, input no matter the, no matter the, the, the whatever. Look at this. <gasps> wow, different thing. Glorious bucket, good bucket at a magnificent hole. Can I get a shout out please? Yes, Astros Roblox, you can get a shout out just for your admiration of the beautiful bucket. Wow, look at that, it's still Stanley. Change your perception? It didn't work. The perception isn't working. What does the change your perception mean? It's not working. I love the bucket. I do love the bucket as well. It's, it's kind of a beautiful bucket. I appreciate it so much. Actually, I think the change of per perception is, is messing with the music, but I don't want to test that theory. If, if I say daddy, 
bucket will you play with me i followed you on x yeah everybody follow me on x by the way twitter whatever change your reality wow okay well the bucket and i are going through something right now actually that's really cool look at that Ooh, wow look at the ocean that red ocean bloody red ocean wow look uh, now we're just barreling through a bunch of dead dinosaurs and things oh puppies i like puppies look they're beautiful oh the puppies are eating things Oh my gosh, now we are going through space. Now we're in, oh, that's a pretty blue color. Change yourself. <gasps> I am computers now. Guys, I am computers. Hold on, I'm changing the reality. Oh, wow, that's hilarious. He's just upside down. And now he's that thing. Oh, that's a beach. That's a different thing. Uh, what is that? That's a reference to a video game, but I'm not sure what. Oh, that's really cool. Look at that, fan art. Fan art things. Dude, we're just going to flip through as many of these as we can. Look at how beautiful everything is going on. Look at that. Look at all the trees. Look at this. Oh, is that it? Oh, yeah. It's going to loop from now on. Well, that's tragic. Either way, it's fine. We got to see everything. I'm still with my Stanley? bucket. Look at it. It's beautiful. Stanley. Stanley. Oh, good. You're awake. It seems you had sort of dozed off there. Sorry, the bucket just put me in a trance. Its utter beauty and glory just had me kind of spaced out because of how amazing it was. Fascinating. But I want you to be wide awake for every The bucket second. is a hole, you're correct. A single moment. So how about if I just That's actually probably the reason why I like the hole. To keep you really truly focused on the hole. Yeah, stop. Call the bucket daddy bucket. You and I will have many, many years here in this hole. That's good. I'm looking forward to all of them. Me too, but also yeah, I'm looking forward to this bucket. I'll be back. Toodle pip. Toodle pip. Look at this bucket, mate. Look at it. Look at the beauty of this bucket. Dude, am I actually stuck in this hole? That's hilarious. Do I just have to reset? Hold on, I'm hearing things. Why am I hearing things? I like watching your videos. Thank you, Auto Boy. Oh, it reset. It reset. I spent too much time in the hole. <laughs> but also, I did get a really cool bucket, so I don't care. Hey, this is where we start out from now on. Can you do my short request first? Because I don't blink. You don't blink? That's unhealthy. And also, I, I don't believe you. I'm pretty sure everybody has to blink. But if you don't, then that's, uh, you should get that checked out. Anyway, uh, if I, we'll see. I, I have like a schedule most of the time. Sometimes I don't. Some, like tomorrow, I don't know what I'm making tomorrow because it's like a Sunday. And, and on Sundays, I usually have to be really strategic. Because, um, you know, weekend shorts do better than... Um, Weekday shorts. Uh, anyway, uh, does Riggy know how to spell? Uh, I think so. Uh, probably. Anyway. <gasps> Glowy thing! Okay, so I'm actually kind of scared, but it's okay because I have a bucket. How many endings have you done? Uh, I've done like four, but we're in the more content thing, so we can unlock more endings because we're in this is the Ultra Deluxe version. The mini Stanley figurines. How many years of prison would Riggy have if he went to jail? Infinity. Unlike that hole, it would literally go on forever. You simply I do like watching numbers go up. Potty mouth, but okay, sounds good. Oh, we got a pretty thing! Look at the Stanlerine! I love it. It's beautiful. Just like my bucket. Actually, no. My bucket is a little more beautiful than the Stanlerine. God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game, and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolute. Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is... Was that it? Oh, I think I accidentally cut him off. <laughs> don't you think? I agree, but you know what else is better? Look at my bucket. I don't know, but as long as I have a bucket, I'm good. Yes, I saw my bucket, so I'm good. Yes, I'm ready to move on, because I have a bucket. Dude, this narrator, you know, he's actually... You know, honestly, I'd be pretty annoyed if I didn't have the best object to ever exist. This this bucket right here. Why aren't you guys complimenting the bucket? You guys keep saying my name or Riggy's name. Talk about this bucket. Talk about how amazing this bucket is. I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one... Honestly, you don't need the rest of the game. Just have the bucket. I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. It will There's work because there will be the bucket included. In there, somewhere. there is a good game in there somewhere because the bucket is here. I'll arrange these new features together and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay It experience. will cohere into a meaningful mm -hmm. gameplay experience because mm -hmm. I have a bucket. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready because I have a bucket. <laughs> I'm sorry. I give you the Stanley Parable. Thank you. Oh, he said hi to the bucket. Thank you, Grape Jelly. I like Grape Jelly. What happened? What happened? Um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? Thank you for the 99 cents. Sort of. Okay, never mind. Hold on. Let me do a different arrangement. Okay, yes. Yes, this is much better. I feel this one's going to be much better, guys. Here we go. Who? Two. Where's the bucket? Oh, there's two buckets this time. I like this version even better. This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. 
I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No should how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would I should actually make a gag where like a character in the Riggy series is just addicted to a bucket. That would be hilarious. I can take the original Thank you, mate. That's so nice of you to say. Well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course. <gasps> Interesting idea. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Interesting. Would it possibly work? Maybe. I suppose it could, but it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. It would. That's true. That says with bold and it kind of does. You're totally right, dude. This is <laughs> Stanley Parable 2. <gasps> Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> He's whipping something up. Right, perfect. You're Bring the bucket into the bucket Stay area. Uh, I think I know what you're talking about, but we can't do that for a while. All right. Back on the title screen. Look at this. Dude, I love this title screen. It's actually beautiful. He likes bucket because things go in buckets. Yes, no, actually, no, I don't I don't like it because things go in buckets. I actually just like the bucket because I like the bucket. And I'm actually kind of offended that you can't see that, okay? Uh, Dano, what's the bucket's name? Can you make a poll to name it? Great idea. Actually, we'll make a, we'll make, the, not a poll. We'll do the, uh, the, 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 um... There's like a questionnaire thing that you can do, so everybody can suggest a name for the bucket. Uh, anyway, I actually kind of just like calling it the bucket, though. It's kind of comforting. But you know what? We'll get a name for it, too. Look at how beautiful this title screen is, actually. Okay, you know what? Let's make a poll real quick. Let's see what... Yeah, start a QA. and a Hold on. What should the bucket's name be? There we go. This is a poll a or a QA. and a All right, everybody, go suggest uh, in the Q&A what the bucket's name should be. I just sent it, so that way everybody can answer. Select a question, however you might- oh, that's cool. Greg, I see Greg. Uh, oh, wow, okay, Greg, Bucky. Oh, I love Bucky! Bucky's a really good idea. Jim, Daddy Bucket, wow, very creative. Buckaroo, uh, the name should be Jackson. Uh, I like puns more. Robert Downey Bucket, is that what you said? Uh, oh, there's so many. Oh, I saw a swear, that's not good, I'm kidding. Uh, let's see. Uh, Bucket the Third. Mr. Bucket the Third. I like Bucky. I like Bucky a lot, actually. Can we do Bucky? Riggy? Oh, the better Riggy. Oh my gosh, dude! The Bucket is the better Riggy. That's hilarious. Peter Griffin? We're not gonna name the Bucket Peter Griffin. Buckington or Buxton? Bob the Bucket. Dano? Oh, Dano 2. <laughs> name the Bucket Dano 2. That's actually kind of funny. Uh, Tyler. Lord Bucket. Daddy, banana. Ba I'm not gonna name the bucket banana. Bucket, Monty, Bucky, Buckety, Buckety. Oh, Buckety is good. Bennett. All right, here we go. Okay, cool. So let's see. I like. Okay, I think I like. Oh, I like Buckety or Bucky. I think I like Bucky actually. I think Bucky wins. Billy the uh, Billy Bob Joe. I like Billy too actually. Billy Bucket. Do you speak a second language? No, I don't. I actually never took a second language in high school. I got around it <laughs> to graduate. I actually, dude, it, I, it was bad. You know, you, you take a language in high school. It'll help you get into college. But also, Dano does it with a bucket if three million. I'm not going to. You want me to release a tape with me doing a bucket at three million subs? That's horrible. Although, what I will do at three million subs is uh, I will. You know what? Actually, maybe ten million subs. Ten million subs, I will release a special edition bucket that you can buy with Riggy on it. So, everyone subscribe if you want the special Riggy bucket. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, Billy, Bobby, I like Bucky. Can we name it Bucky? I think we're gonna name it Bucky. Actually, okay, hold on. All right, so I'm good with the Q and A, but let's see. All right, let's do a let's do a, a poll really quick. Let's do a poll. Should we name it? Okay, bucket name. Should we keep calling it the bucket? Or thank you, mate. I I love you. Okay, should we call it the bucket or uh Bucky bucket? All right, here we go. Uh, choose the name. I just sent the poll. Choose the name. Should, should it be named The Bucket? Or should we just keep calling it The Bucket? Or should it be named Bucky Bucket? Just let me know. Zero votes. That's great. 60,000 people here and zero votes. Oh my gosh. 76% 76 say that it should be Bucky. That's great. Okay, yeah. I'm seeing an overwhelming answer of Bucky right here. Alright, we'll name it Bucky. We'll, we'll name the Bucket Bucky. We'll name it Bucky. Bucky Bucket, Bucky Bucket, Bucky Bucket. Okay, cool. We'll, we'll keep it named Bucky. All right, its name is Bucky. Let's go back in. We're going to go get Bucky. The end is never the end is never the end is never the end. This is the story. We have a man, man named Stanley. You know what? Actually, we have to do this again, but I'm going to read it. 
There we go. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Sorry, we're just going to do this one more time because I want to voice act it. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. I can't really do the British voice that good. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. <laughs> this is funny. Bucky the shiny bucket, yes. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. Yes, I was made exactly for this job, and Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something the Stanley Parable, something that would forever change Stanley, something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not a single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. I've listened to this a million times, so I know exactly like the way that the narrator says everything. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say, hi, a Moai emoji, nice. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked. Name the bucket. Oh, I don't know if that's a good name or not. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Sounds good. I will do that. But first, I'm going to go on break really quick because I got to go to the bathroom. So, the sequel is now paused. I like that. Used to it says the game is now paused. Anyway, I'm going to be right back. I have to go, uh, uh, just, I gotta go to the bathroom really quick. Uh, everybody, uh, you know what, just have a nice discussion about the bucket. You know, let's make a poll really quick for you guys to interact with while I'm gone. Hold on. Uh, how many, uh, I always come back, cheeky the chicken. All right, here we go. Let, let's ask a question. Hold on. Let, oh, this, this one's sure to, this one's sure to, to divide everybody. Who's the best take the bucket to the broom closet for stickers Ooh, interesting oh i haven't gotten the broom closet ending yet the broom closet ending is my favorite i'm excited to share that with you guys hold on all right this is going to be the most decisive poll i have ever released who is better riggy or the bucket <laughs> actually you know what we'll do three we'll do riggy the bucket or dano there we go start poll everybody vote on this while i'm gone okay Oh, actually, I can't do this, because I, <laughs> if I go in the, you know what, everybody vote on this right now. Wow, everybody's voting. Oh, interesting. It keeps swapping. I, I keep swapping between Riggy and the Bucket. That's very interesting. I'm seeing a lot of votes for the Bucket. 51% people say the Bucket. That's very interesting. That's very interesting. Very interesting indeed. All right, I'm going to go to the restroom really quick. Hold on. I, I didn't think about this. Actually, we're going to end the poll because uh, I, <laughs> we're, I I didn't realize that I got to I gotta go on the end uh, the BR right back screen, and I don't want it to hide all the chat. So I'll be right back. Stay tuned for more Bucket. Actually, I'll have the – no, that's copyrighted music. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll be right back.
All right, all right, I have returned. We lost a lot of viewers, but that's okay. <laughs> Sorry, mates, I know. I, yeah, my bad. I just, I had to take a break for a minute, but now we're back. We're back. We're gonna go for a couple more hours. Dude, I'm so upset. You know, last week I was so, I was enjoying playing Rabbids Go Home so much. I literally could have kept streaming that game probably like for hours on end until like midnight. Dude, you know what? Next time. Uh, yeah, but this time, but I, I had to hang out with my girlfriend afterwards, right? And I love my girlfriend, and she's amazing. Uh, but seriously, last time, I, I, I literally could have kept playing forever. So uh, this time, I, I don't have to hang out with Leia. So I could theoretically stream this game for hours, but I don't really want to because I, you know, I, it's not, uh, it's not as fun to, to stream a game where you can't talk. You know what I mean? Because you know the, the narrator's interrupting. But, uh, <laughs> so next time I play Rabbids, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to wait for a day that Leia and I aren't going to hang out, you know, all Saturday. And then I'm literally just going to do an all-day stream of Rabbids. <laughs> I just, uh, dude, I love that game so much. It was so fun. Or, you know, another game that's amazing. Uh, how did Sandy get underwater in SpongeBob if she's a squirrel? I don't know. I didn't really watch SpongeBob too much when I was younger. Um, but that is an interesting query. All right. Beginning, beginning the game again. Here we go. Resume. There we are. We are in the closet, and now we can walk forward. All of, his co All of my co-workers are gone. What does that? What could Stanley that mean? To go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I, pro I probably just missed a memo. Oh my gosh! Here's the bucket. It's beautiful. So I okay. So if you pick up the bucket, then it changes the game a little bit. But we haven't done a lot of regular endings, so or we haven't done enough. So we're gonna do a couple more regular endings first, and then we'll come back for the bucket. Uh. Bucky, you have Bucky haters? No! Hey, who hates Bucky? I love Bucky. Bucky the Bucket is literally the best thing that I've ever been granted in my entire life, aside from my wonderful girlfriend. Stanley felt the Bucket calling to him, begging him to pick it up. It is Why kind of... Why is he not doing it? Uh, I, I'm sorry, Bucket. I, I love you so much. You are my only... You are my one and only, but I have to... I have other things that I must attend to first. All right. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors... He entered the door on his left. Did I enter the door on my left, boys? Let's see. Left. Right. There we are. Start the poll. Should we go to the door on the left or the door on the right? Actually, I might make an executive decision to go on the left. Uh, yeah, there's the sandy one. Uh, I might make an executive decision to go to the left one, actually, because uh, we... we, we uh, I think I... You know what? Should we just... Should we just actually do the entirety of it's spooky month? Please, can you shout me out? Yes, shout out Dog Wimp. Should we just do the um, the, the the like the the no, the normal storyline? Should we just like listen to the is Bucky a boy or a girl? I think Bucky's a boy. Bucky's a boy's name. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go on the door of the left. Actually, you know what I think we're gonna do is just listen to the narrator the complete way through. So that way we can just experience the story for the way it's meant to be told, and that way we can continue messing it up. <laughs> All right, going through the door on the left. Let's see. There was not a single person here either. How shocking! Dano, you have Bucky haters. That's tragic. That is really tragic. I I feel bad, or I feel sad for those people. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I'll, I'll totally go upstairs. I kind of, I just feel really sad for people that don't really, they don't, they just don't appreciate how amazing Bucky is. You know what I mean? I think they just that one day they'll see. It was two eight four five, right? Two eight four five. Did you do a number one or a number two? Don't nah, personal, personal information, okay, pal? But it was, a, it was a number one. Oops, I, <laughs> I went too fast. Sorry. Next for a few moments with some calming new age music. Copyright. <laughs> calming music is playing now. <laughs> the narrator got upset at me because I was going too fast. Have you played Doors before? If you haven't, you should. I haven't, but I've heard a lot of good things about it. Maybe one day. Actually, this Roblox game, isn't it? I don't know what my deal is. I'm not like super anti anti Roblox, but I just I don't know. You know what I mean? Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Everything went dark. Oh, there we go. <laughs> my bad. Anyway, uh, there we go. Let's see. Ooh, a figurine. Let's get it. You found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember? It does look like Matt Pat, dude. I can't get that out of my mind now. The intrinsic pleasure. That's hilarious. It totally looks like Matt Pat. Happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So I employ. You've tried to buy happiness before? All right. Moment, you come across one of these beautiful figurines. It is pretty beautiful. I do love it very much. I I feel like I've like just improved my life by getting that. I feel like genuinely I am a better person now that I've now that I've picked up that that figurine. I feel like it has genuinely improved me as a human being. 
that figurine is is has kind of changed and altered my life for the better. Not as much the bucket. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm not gonna. It's it's incomparable, honestly. The bucket is just so much better on so Standing many different levels. Ahead through the large door that read mind control for so we went through the escape route earlier, which means we're gonna do the mind control one this time. Hmm, it's dark. Interesting. Let's see what happens if we. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. It's packed with what television screens. Did this place hold? I wonder what horrible secret this place holds. Did he have the strength to find out? I don't think I have the strength to find out what horrible secret this place holds. My office building where everyone has disappeared. A bunch of blank monitors. Let's see what happens if we have them jump to life. Now the monitors jump to life. Their true nature revealed. <gasps> Their true nature is being revealed. My co-workers. So wow. Everybody's reduced to images on a stream. A screen. <laughs> My bad. Hey, there's me. Wait, where is it? 427. Employee 427. Freedom means nothing here. But also, hey, look. Let's see what... <gasps> That's my office. That's my office. I'm shocked. I am in... Uh, thank you, Dano. You're welcome, dog wimp. I am absolutely floored by this... By this event. This terrible tragedy. Well, how could I have ever reacted? It was too horrible to believe. It, it is too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Really been under someone's control all this time? Hi there, mate. Is Sorry. The he was happy with his boring job? Is this, this the only reason I'm happy with my boring job? Bucky is the best. I agree. Bucky is the best. We'll go back and get him eventually. Well, no. we'll carry him with he with us. To believe it. He couldn't accept I refuse to believe it. I can't accept it. Why did you kill Riggy's girlfriend? Oh, no, I didn't. That's not canon. That's a really great fan animation, but it's not canon. Was it even possible? truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Guys, I think I'm, I've been utterly blind to the world. Thank you for the 10. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All offending? You didn't offend me. From this very place. Fine. As the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never drool over Matt Pat last Saturday. Did I drool over Matt Pat last Saturday? Life, for he would dismantle the controls once and for all. We will dismantle the controls once and for all, everyone. Yeah, did I drool over Matt Pat last week? That's kind of funny, guys. I actually, I know you guys. It's. I have a really bad memory. Like, literally, can I do the genocide run in Undertale next stream? Uh, no. You know what? Most of the time when people ask me to stream things, I say, yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe. Definitely not, okay? Number one, I would want to play Undertale naturally first. Uh, if 9 million subs, you drink Fanta. I love Fanta. It's pretty good. Anyway, um, it's not my favorite. I like Barks. Barks is my favorite soda. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, the, the genocide run, dude, I haven't even ever been able to complete, whoa, been ever to, able to ever complete that. I'm not good at video games. The genocide run is, it's actually like a test of skill. I had to g get my friend to come over and beat Sans for me. Although, ironically, Riggy has beaten Sans before, so, anyway. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Uh, poll, should we disable the mind control, or should we let it happen? Uh, no, not the Q&A. Start a poll. There we are. Disable mind control. Oh, wait. On. Okay, here we are. On. Off. Mind control. All right, should we turn it on or off? Oh, nope. Get rid of that option. Let me know, guys. Ugh. Should we take control of the mind control facility or should we turn it off forever? Let's see. So that way nobody has, ever has to suffer with this again. Let me know. Let me know. I'm seeing a bunch of offs. 52%. Ooh, 52% on. 52% off. It's switching. It's a close fight. Let's let it go for a minute. Anyway, yeah, dude, I'm not doing the genocide run for a while. <laughs> Maybe eventually if you guys want to watch me suffer. But, dude, it's going to have to be... That's going to have to be another day where I don't have to hang out with Leia all Saturday. What's your favorite game? Dude, I have a lot of favorite games. Portal, Deltarune Chapter 2. There's just a lot of them. Um, Minecraft is pretty good. I can't wait, dude. I can't wait to do a Minecraft hardcore stream. That'll be a great one. That's going to be another one where I have to have a day where I'm just not going to hang out with Leia all Saturday. <laughs> Man, there's a lot of... Oof. Uh, yeah, there's going to have to be a lot of days. I, I'm sure she's she she works, so hopefully she'll just be working on a lot of Saturdays. I'm seeing a lot of ons. 56% on. All right, we have a couple more minutes to get votes in. If not, we're going to we're gonna hit on. Let's see. 57% on. Oh, it's going up. All right. I think that's final. Yep, let's uh, let's end the poll. Looks like we're gonna uh, looks like we're gonna have to turn it on. Let's see. Oh, Stanley, you did 
didn't just activate the controls, did you? Uh, you maybe. Enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is I thought it would be a funny prank. Control? Hey, there we go. It's loading the consist. Uh, it's loading the systems. I applaud your effort. I really do. Thank you. you. It was pretty, you know, hard so to get this far. Really? You what do you mean? To let it go. Turn the controls off and leave. Oh, my bad. I just thought it was a funny prank. It was silly, goofy, a little quirky. You think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this my bad. activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the... Oh, no, you didn't offend me. I was just joking, mate. ...until detonation then... Mm, let's say um, two minutes. <laughs> ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your so you all have shine. doomed me. You Thank you for choosing it's that I should have turned it on. But also now we're going to explode. That's not good. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame That's going fast. So okay. Um, let's see if there's a way I can turn it off. Goes off. But what precious moments each buttons. One these buttons. Okay, I can press these. Interesting. Uh, what's the G? There's a house. There's a... Okay, interesting. I'm seeing a bunch of X's appear. That's an X, so those are incorrect. That one correct? Uh, that's incorrect. Five. I'm seeing the five button. Do you guys see a green five button? Pacifist run? Maybe. We'll see. Not next stream, but uh, soon. Okay, I see a three. Do you guys see a five button? Five. There we go. Five. Cool. Did that do anything? I said five. It didn't work. It is a little amusing. Big Willy. Sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. I'm not. I'm kind of stressed. I'm kind of freaking out. I'm going to Potty mouth. Extra time on the clock. Sounds good. Okay. These are precious buttons. Buttons. Seconds. Nothing. Nothing about the buttons. Button. Button. Hello. I don't want to die. What's the matter, Stanley? I'm kind of freaking out. That's what's the matter. Yeah, no, I don't really have any idea. When you saw that timer, that something in this room was capable of turning it off. Yeah, kind of. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. Surely there's something. No, these colored ones. Right, it's the colored ones, right? Oh, uh, is the big red button? No, I don't know. That door. Uh, it closed on me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? Yeah, I thought so. Red button. 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 Power. Power. That should turn everything off, right? Uh, he's laughing at me. It's making me uncomfortable. I am a disappointment. Thank you. Catalyst. That's a big word. Oh, interesting. That was a weird mo noise. Did you hear that? Console disabled. Backup power. I didn't really want to control it. I don't want to control it. I just kind of want to. Uh, I just kind of want to live. Goodbye, employee four two seven. That's horrifying. Ah, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Thirty seconds. I'm hearing things move and rumble, and also I'm hearing the audio in the background. I'm scared. I'm scared. Buttons. Buttons. Goodbye. Thank you. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Wake up. Chrissy! Chrissy! <laughs> Chrissy, wake up! Five seconds! Four seconds! That was a reference. Chrissy... So we exploded, and I blame all of you. So, uh, thank you for that. Oh my gosh, I just saw a $500 donation. Are you serious? Can you shout me out in a short? Shout out Spencer Lane. Uh, hold on. I just saw... Oh, uh, wow, we reset. And the office looks weird. Hold on. I saw a $500 donation. I gotta give it a special attention because that is just way too much money. Four ninety nine. Riggy better than Dano. Hurtful. Very hurtful. Okay. You know what? I, you know what? I, I'm, I'm actually like hurt deeply because you would say something like that. <laughs> Papyrus versus Sans. Who's better? Um, 
Papyrus is very quirky and cool, but I like Sans just because I like Sans. Another 500? Oh, here we go. Dude, you didn't even say anything. Tristan. Tristan? Oh, there's a $100 dono that just says I love you with a bunch of demon emojis. Thanks you, thank you, Mr. Monitor. But this one, $500 from Tristan. That's crazy, dude. Genuinely insane. Thank you. Uh, Virus 66, 1 million. If you get 33 million subs, will you do it with Bucky? Why do you guys keep wanting to see me do it with a bucket? No. You know, not all relationships have to be physical. I don't know if you guys know about that. What could it mean? The whiteboard ending. To go to the meeting room. Perhaps you had something missed on memory. Dog mode. Ah, oh, it doesn't work unless you... Amazing. I'm turning that off, though, because that's going to get annoying really quick. You know, not all relationships are physical, okay? The Bucket and I, we have an emotional relationship, which is why I'm letting it be for now. We have we have to give it space, okay? We're courting it right now, okay? Our relationship is deeper than that. Sounds good. I would let you guys choose, but first we're going to go see what the on button, or the, the, what the off button does. So that way we get to experience the actual story ending. <laughs> okay, let's see. Mission status. <gasps> How can we find them? True completionist instinct. <gasps> it's a meeting for the for the for the for the Stanley figures bottom text. Did you see that? That was funny. All right, interesting. Hold on, is my girlfriend calling me? My girlfriend's calling me. Do you guys want to see what she says? Here we go. Yeah, that was funny. Hello, Leia. This is uh, you're 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 live. You're hearing on the stream. Actually, I think I can hear myself in the echo. <laughs> No, I did both. It was it was uh, clone riggy, and then there was another one. No, I, I did two. Don't worry. Okay. Be good. <laughs> thank you for thank you for calling. Do you want to say anything to the viewers? Do you know the way? Haha, <laughs> hurtful. Do you want to say anything to the viewers? I am about to make some pot stickers. Some pot stickers. Bye. What's a pot sticker? Okay, well she hung up on me. <laughs> All right, sounds good. <gasps> the broom closet. We haven't gone in here yet. Actually, I want to do this really quick because this is the best ending. This is the broom closet ending. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. So I would, but also look at this place. Look at this bucket. Look at this broom. Look at all the beauty that this has to offer. Look at this here. wrench. It's so no shiny. To make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be Shout out Refi, only Aussie viewer. Nice to see you, mate. Although I'm sure there's some other Aussies. If there's any other Aussies, let me know. It was baffling Shout Stanley out Cheese was VR. Just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. I am justified. It's a beautiful broom closet. Standing there doing sweet FA. Yeah, okay. Well, you know, I don't actually care about you as a person. I'm enjoying myself. This broom closet is beautiful in every way, and you're kind of a negative Nelly right now. Yes, I am. Do you have a problem? Because I enjoy the broom closet, that's why. I'm genuinely confused. It's a pretty broom broom closet. You can you can you know what you can bug off. I'm happy. Give Clone Riggy a raise. Clone Riggy doesn't get money. Yeah, also he's dead. You can't pay a dead person. If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. Super chat so many times worth it. Thank you, Mr. Respect. I'm I'm grateful for you. Is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I don't care. I am enjoying myself. Look at how beautiful this place is. Look at that pipe. Look at this pipe. Look at all the shininess. Look at the glow. Look at the way that the lamp is beautifully glowing onto the paint. This is somehow its own branching path. It is. Look at this pipe on the floor, the rubber hose. <gasps> rubber hose animation. I get the reference. Did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. One XD, that's funny. Your friends find this concerning. Do you guys find it concerning? The broom closet ending is my favorite. Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending is my favorite. Really stupid. Hurtful. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That's fine. All with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Oh, hey, you didn't have to go that far. You know what? Uh, hey, people's personal business should remain their personal well, I've business. Come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. Probably. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and we're just about to leave because there's nothing here. When well, there's a broom closet here. There's a beautiful sort, thing here. Shut down your central nervous system, and you collapsed on the keyboard. Nuh uh. -uh. Well, in a situation like this. Shout out Spencer Lane. Oh, in a short? I don't really do shout outs for shorts unless it's like ideas or uh, fan art. Hello? 
Anyone who happens to be nearby, the person at this computer is dead. No, uh, -uh. Pray to any number of your countless human Should I play dead guys? No. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video games. Archibald? Oh no. Rest in peace, Archibald the hamster. Did you guys see that? It'll pop up soon. Alright. When you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Okay, sounds good. Apparently, he hated the fact that uh, we stayed in the broom closet so long, and he just said that he wants somebody else to take over. So, you know what? Fine. This is another human taking over. Do you, do you want me to leave? Hold up. I'll get up and pretend that I'm another human. All right. Hello, everyone. My name is not Dano. I am uh, his twin brother, Jano. Actually, I do have a twin brother, although he's studying abroad and out of the country right now. So, tragic. I can't get him to help out. Anyway, okay, we're a different human now. Ah, second player. Good to have you on board. Sounds good. You can't do any worse than the person who came before you. <laughs> Is that a challenge? All right, sounds good. You too. Unbelievable. It's just a masterful a broom closet, dude. I don't know what your deal is. Lids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. <coughs> a fish, fungus. Fungus. Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. I love the broom closet ending, dude. It's so amazing. It's just it's just so perfect in every way. There's everything about the broom closet is just it's magnificent. All right, cool. We've done that now. There's no more dialogue tragically. It doesn't actually reset you. All right, upstairs. Case, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Sounds good. I did. Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Blah blah blah. Dark secrets, the keypad, Stanley pushes some buttons. Oh hey, look, it's a new passageway. <gasps> surprise. I'm surprised. I love that he, he's so used to it by now. Uh, I love the the, the 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 how meta this game gets and how self aware it is, because like dude, imagine you had to go through that every single time. That's great. Ah, wonderful. Alrighty, now let's go get ourselves a turn off thing. Door, mind, mind control, control facility. facility. Sounds good. Wow, look at the thing. Where we go? The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. <gasps> it's packed with television screens. Place hold. Oh no, I can jump out. Or I can jump off of this. I'm not going to. Uh, dude, rest in peace, Archibald. That's so sad. I'm I'm sorry. I know how rough it is to, to lose a pet, and so I'm I'm genuinely really sorry. I hope I hope you're doing okay. I hope uh, Archibald um, Archibald's in a better place. Do the broom closet ending with the bucket. Now, I shall. I shall. Jump to life. Their true nature revealed. <gasps> Their true nature. The number of an employee in the building. Sounds good. Well, the there's a broom closet so here. Individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them. Eternally monitored in this place where freedom and shout out froggy seven Look at this wonderful beautiful place. Ooh, elevator. Give me the elevator this thing mind control facility It was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. This can't be Had true. Really it's so horrible someone's control all this time. Have I been under someone's control all this time? Happy with his boring job. Is this the only reason? Had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Shout out cool max gaming Elevator. No, he refused to. I refused to believe he it. I couldn't accept it. I couldn't His accept this. In someone else's control. Not no. Dano is cool. It was unthinkable. Wasn't I don't know what it? you're trying to say there, mate. Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind? Uh, I love your lives world? and shorts. Thank you, mate. I'm glad. Not my long-form videos. That's tragic. Was the Those are the ones the heart I like the most. The operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad. Or content, walking, Again, I don't put people working, in shorts um, unless, you know, fan art or a good suggestion. And as the cold reality of his past began to Let's speak, go turn it off, boys and girls. Would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. I agree. Shablam. It is off. Here we are. The ending. Let us see the way that it's, that it's supposed to unfold. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. I'm uncertain. 
Was it over? Is it over? <gasps> yes. He had won. Guys, he we had won. Defeated the machine. We defeated unshackled the machine. From someone else's command. We unshackled Eden ourselves. Mere moments away. Mere moments away. Yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. There are quite a few puzzles well, left unsolved. Well, didn't the, the other the other ending? He said that he erased them, right? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? A bucket. Oh no, I don't want to leave without the bucket. Should we do this again, but with the bucket? It doesn't matter. Well, now the bucket does matter. Okay. I'll let go. As long as I have a bucket. Actually, can I go back? I kind of, I don't want to leave without, without the bucket. Oh, look at how beautiful this place is, though. Look at the mountains. Mountains? Mountains. Oh, look at the bricks. Look at the walls. They're so pretty. The only thing worth knowing. The only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. All right. Sounds good. <sighs> Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The breeze. The feeling of liberation. I've been liberated. The possibility of the new path before him. There's a new path before this me. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. This is the way. And Stanley was happy. I'm happy. The telephone really broke it just then. For fifty dollars worth it though, Logan Land. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, mate. I appreciate that so much. You're so cool. Thank you. I you guys are donating so much to me today, guys. You you're so good. Thank you for the dollar. Every single donation is important, okay? Even the ones that are hold on, I gotta sneeze. Mm. Dude, every donation matters, no matter what 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 how much it I is. Can't wait but to also tell this story to my co workers, Stanley thought. How amusing they'll find it. Oh, won't we all just laugh and laugh at the time I thought everyone had gone missing? Hmm. Is it raining? That's crazy. It's raining. Bucket, I will come back for you. Let's just do a couple more endings really Maybe quick. Stanley would never pick up just two more. I have two more in mind. Lonely bucket, lonely. When Stanley came to a set he, he's really making fun of me because I'm lonely the without the bucket. I've got two more endings in mind that we're going to do, and then we'll pick up the bucket, and then just do the bucket for the rest of the time. Nearby a fireplace, inside of a sequel exhibit, a large room, lots of boxes, stairs, something to do with stairs. Something both red and blue, a private but smelly place for an important... Okay, sounds good. <laughs> okay. Broom closet. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs, upstairs to, to his boss's, boss's office. office. Sounds good. I did walk upstairs to my boss's office. Here's the door, just go. <laughs> he's so, dude, he's so tired of it at this point. Alright, sounds good, let's go down the elevator. Bit repetitive, isn't it? It's okay, though. Loading, 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 loading. So we could step out, but we could also go back up. Whoops. Stanley actually got back into the elevator and went back up. Silly me. Ah, oh, silly narrator. Why did Stanley do that when he knew that it would just lead back to his boss's office? Well, that's a great question. I just can't wait to find out. Because I thought it would be fun. You guys not like Do you guys not like riding elevators? Elevators are cool. It's kind of like a, a self-contained roller coaster. You know what I mean? Wow! Look at the guys. Look at how much the world has changed. Here we are, Stanley. It's your boss's office. Whoa. The way it was before you got onto the elevator. It's still just exactly what it is. Interesting. What a decision you've made to come up here and look at the office again. This has fleshed out the plot of the story in new and fascinating ways I could have never anticipated. It's that keen eye for storytelling that you have. An incisive, rapid fire of critical plot points, one after the other, weaving a rich tapestry of uncompromising narrative. Wow. <laughs> I'm bolted to the edge of my seat. Me too. Very cool. All right. We can ride back down again. Sorry, I just had to see. I needed to see what changed, you know? I, it's... It was now it was he's worth it. Back into the elevator and going down again. Ladies and gentlemen, how does he keep coming up with all of this? I'm not appreciating your attitude, pal. So we could get off. We could do that. That is something that we could do. Or 
We could go back <laughs> up again. What's up? I Did saw somebody say, what's up, Dano? What's up, man? Down the spooky corridor. No. No. It's time once again to go back up in the elevator. Yes, indeed, I it is. I can't even begin to grapple with what might be up there. Is it I don't the boss's office again? Maybe. What? If it's the boss's office this time, <gasps> the suspense is killing me. It's killing me, too. Fourth donation. Keep a can you do a stream where you play Fortnite. It would be cool because it's my favorite game. Uh, I don't know. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. But also, hey, four. Thank you so much. You didn't have to do that. But yeah, maybe. Shout out 100% Reed Ball, please. Shout out Spencer Lane, Reed Ball. Yeah. All right. Where did it take us? Where could we have ever gone? <gasps> oh my God! It's the boss's office. <sighs> no, you don't need another raise, Riggy. Everything for me. Give me a time out here for a minute while I process this. Sounds good. You can take a minute. We have to hold. Uh, he's processing. He's processing. It's it's kind of an intense revelation that this is once again the boss's office. It's absolutely shocking, actually. Look at this. Look, we have to we have to hold him. Okay, okay, he's ready. He's ready. I'm prepared to embrace this stunning revelation and to move forward with no, no wait, no. I need more time to process. Oh, oh, that wasn't enough time, actually. He's got to process a little more. It's okay, I know. It was kind of shocking that, that uh, this is where we would end up. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, like, shook to my core that this is the place that we ended up going. Like, like, there were so many endless possibilities for that elevator. It could have taken us to Mars. It could have taken us to Jupiter. It could have taken us to, you know, the bathroom toilet from my middle school where, right. where somebody got I bullied once or somebody got, uh... I have made space in my worldview for this astonishing new reality. It is astonishing. I turn to your expert eye for gripping narrative, Master Stanley. Yes, I know. I'm pretty good at this. Anyway, yeah, middle school. Somebody got bullied in the bathroom once. It was a whole deal. Yeah, the, the whole place got shut down and everything. Like, bullying happens a lot, but, like, you know, like, swirlies and stuff is kind of old school, right? But yeah, somebody got bullied in the bathroom once. It was a big deal. Bullying is terrible. Don't do that. Of course. Going back down to the elevator. How did I not anticipate it? I mean, How did sure, he not anticipate it? Obvious, but you it is obvious. That 30 seconds ago, this kind of thing had never been attempted before. I had no frame of reference to even anticipate it. That's just how revelatory Stanley's decision-making is. A breath of fresh air in a landscape of storytelling that has grown stale and repetitive. I should make a whole movie about this, just going up and down in an elevator. <laughs> That's a joke. Maybe a whole episode of the Riggy series is just about him going up and down in an elevator. That'd be great. You know what? We could get off, or we could... I'm not even gonna... You know, let's just go again. He's not saying anything this time. He's silent. He was done. He's done, dude. Hmm. You know what? I've just thought of something. Hold on, let's stop for a moment. Don't you realize? It's the anticipation, Stanley. You and I, we have no way of knowing what will be at the top of this elevator. We really don't. It could be anything. The agony of waiting and anticipating and having to guess, that's the real thrill. It is a real I thrill. don't want to let that feeling go. It's so precious, Sounds good. So fleeting. Thank you for Why the 20 up, by the way. That's insane. Ride nice and slow. Oh. There we go. Isn't this so much more exciting? You know, Stanley, it seems like nowadays the only thing that audiences want is to be shocked as loudly and frequently as possible. It's a bit they of a drag, isn't it? Explosive moments I'll just dance. Right in their faces Oop. The very moment Accidentally the almost turned on started. sticky keys. But where's the tension? Where is Where's the tension? The trust in the audience to build a hmm. slow and nuanced appreciation for the story. The we need to appreciate it, guys. Why aren't we given time to imagine the surprises? To have it's to true. And to anticipate, and then to marvel at the eventual. We must marvel at it. Raise Riggy, raise Riggy. Sounds good. Stanley, it is you and I true storytelling. Right now, this is the most exciting narrative to be developed in years, and it's really all because of you. You're the one who took this bold step of revisiting the exact same locations over and over. Truly, I mean it. This is unique and different. It's not like anything else out there. You see, I want hmm, stories. Good idea. Spencer Lane. Gum I want from. to have to think. I want to be engaged and not pandered to. We're being fed such unimaginative drivel all the time, and we all know it. Which is why we're so starved for content that makes us feel sharp and vital. Whoa, look Why? at this place. This is new. Why people like you so that wasn't there before, was it? Because I don't think so. Because you're not afraid to spit in the face of tradition. You're a role model, you know? People look up to you. 
Which is why, though I didn't know when to spring this on you, but, well, I've gathered a little press conference for you. So that you can <gasps> a talk press conference? Don't know what currency that is, but thank you. Life. Yes, I know you're not much for the public eye, but I thought it would especially mean a lot to the people who have been following you from the beginning. They really look up to you, Stanley. I don't know if you realize the impact you have on them. This is the kind of gesture that might leave a tremendous impact on them for the better. Oh, good, right here. Look at this place, our beautiful okay. red carpet. The room where we're holding the press conference should be just around the corner here somewhere. Sounds good. Clone Riggy's behind the graph. No, he's not. Look at this. Live on stage, Stanley. All eyes on Stanley. Here we are. Look uh, at this. Yes, here it is. Just through this door. Sounds good. Ah, oh, doing great. Here we go. To the stage. I've told them you're going to speak a little bit. Oh, the green room. Green room. Storytelling. And what it means. Your coworkers. Go get him, Tiger. Break a leg, champ. You'll do great. Just be yourself and speak from the heart. I'm. I'm really proud of you, Stanley. Okay, I'll just be myself and speak from the heart. They're ready for you. They're ready for me. Let's do it. Here we are, everybody. We're doing a press conference because of how influential and amazing a man I am as Stanley. Hi there, Olympic. Look at this. Everyone is so excited to see me, the great and amazing Stanley, because of my wonderful storytelling skills. Here we are. Let me speak. Everyone! That was amazing. Truly amazing. Truly fantastic. All right, we got one more ending to do without the bucket, and then we'll grab the bucket and just do a bunch of bucket endings. Hold on, let me give it a kiss first. Just had to make sure to give it a little smooch. No. <laughs> I know he wants me to pick up the bucket really bad, but no, we're gonna, we must live without it. came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Okay. I entered the door on my left, guys. There will be reward for finding them all. Dude, that's conspiracy type stuff. I love it. Should we do the broom closet ending again? I'm kidding. <laughs> Wait, what happens if we... Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Not again. I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. Gold. Just gold. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay. Here's the door. Just go. <laughs> Dude, he's so sick of it. That's great. We're going, we're going. Ah, <sighs> wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Sounds good, mate. Except what we're going to do this time is very special. It's very special secrety secrets. I remember this from the first game. First, we can turn on all the lights. An enormous room packed with television screens. Look at all these television what screens. Horrible secret did this place hold? What horrible Stanley secret does this place hold? I'm thinking to myself. Yada yada yada. Yes, he is. Go check. Oh, clone Riggy? Yeah, no, he's not. He's dead. You guys, stop stop scaring me. It's like weird that everyone has like, just decided to do this prank on me. It's the same thing with the cheese. Everybody's like, oh, Dano looks like cheese. Oh, 10 years old? No, thank you, man, for, for watching the streams and everything. I really appreciate you. I'm glad. I'm one of them. I'm being eternally monitored. Freedom means nothing. Wait, is this the... Hold on, I think it's actually this place that I gotta... Is it this place or the next one that I gotta wait? I think it's the next one, actually. I gotta call the lift first. Right? Yeah, I gotta call the lift first. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be He does. He have a... Does Riggy have any pets? Riggy has... Okay, I'm muting the audio. It's getting annoying. Anyway, uh, does Riggy have any pets? Riggy... Do How do you fire somebody that you're mind controlling? That doesn't make any sense to me. How can you mind control somebody and still have to fire them? Like, they're doing everything you need them to, but okay, whatever. Anyway, so now we just sit here in the empty room for a while, and then we just wait. I'll, you guys will see the secret. It's coming. Does Riggy have any pets? Riggy has a pet pig named Jimmy. Do I have any pets? Yes, I answered this earlier. I have a pet named uh, Abby and then another pet named Bambi. They're both two little chihuahuas, and they're amazing, and I love them forever. Anyway, 
Uh, we're waiting. We're waiting. We're chilling. We're waiting. We're chilling. We're waiting. Oh, look at the pipe. I like the pipe. Ah, look at this place. Look at how beautiful it is. Look at all these rooms. Look at all these numbers. And blah, blah, blah. Oh, there we go. It opened. Now you guys get to see the amazing thing. It might be copyrighted. It might be copyrighted music, but hopefully it's not. We'll see. So what we need to do is go over here. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And then here's the secrety secret button. Watch this. Watch what happens if we press this. Everything turns off. I don't know if it's copyrighted, so that's all that is. But hey, look at all the secrets. Don't touch the screens. You never go to... Never... You never go... I don't know what that means. Secret, secret, secret. Secrets room 2014. Hey, oh. All right, but what else we can do is glitch on top of this. I bet in season two we'll be about mind controlling. I don't think so. Uh, maybe, though. We'll see. I don't know. I don't think so, though. Go, go, secret rangers. Go all the way. Secret, secret, secrets. All right, anyway, what we can do... Now we have gone to the bottom. You've made it to the bottom of the mind control facility. Welcome. Thank you. you see, back when the Stanley Parable first launched, I can't believe it was 2013, dude. I feel so dumb. The bottom of the mind control facility. I said 2014 in the short this morning. We didn't catch Bad development, and you all sent us lots of photos of it on Twitter and acted very superior about it. And you're all very, very clever. Good for you. Anyway, when it came time to update the game. We knew that we had to do something about the Shout out JKVR. So, here you go. New content. You can call it the bottom of the mind control room ending, if that enhances your perception of the value of these updates. Isn't that yeah, like maybe. Brave? New content? I would Always probably... More content, more content, more, 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 more. Uh, I saw somebody ask if I'd play any games live. Uh, I'll say yes. Uh, put it on the subreddit or the Discord. But I'm going to play the game first. Like, I can't react to it live because, you know, it could have, like, terrible things in it. So I'm going to play the game first, and then I'll play it live if there's, like, any fan games. You know, I might just do a whole fan game stream. Depends if, you know, I get enough of them. We'll see. More, more, more. And I'm here to give it to you. Thank you. I, I like new content. It seem like we really got no. every nook and cranny of the game with secrets and Easter eggs. Secrets. How about this? We wrote a new piece of music just for this section. You won't hear it anywhere <gasps> else in the game. A new piece of music. It's a secret that's just for you. That's how special you just are. Just for me. We call this track, Good Job You've Made It to the Bottom of the Mind Control Facility. Well done. <gasps> I like this song. It might be copyrighted, but I think it's worth it. Okay. Three, two, one. Good job. You made it to the bottom of the mind control facility. You jumped down the catwalk. You should have been careful. You should have been careful. You used to be a bug, but now it's an ending. And now it's an ending. And I believe in you. Believe in your ability to cross the barrier. Chase your dreams. Railings don't mean anything. Good job, you did it. 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 Good good, you did it. Good job, you did it. Good job, you did it. Oh, such a great track <laughs> dude thank you for the 10 yeah dude that's literally got to be I, okay i've unironically listened to that song outside of the game hey dan this five donation can you give me another shout out shout out refi i'm only one sub and i'm so close to my goal 100 yeah Yes, that's where everyone would be. Oh, everyone Stanley would be at the meeting room. To get to the meeting room. All right, let's go. Oh, Tell Rigg I said hi. Sounds good. Ever again. Oh, he's not going to tell me to pick up the bucket. I was waiting for that. All right, time for the bucket. Let's go. Come Stanley on, buddy. Picked up the bucket. Ah, the bucket. Look at this. Look at this wonderful creation. This wonderful object. This wonderful beauty. All right, now that we have our bucket, Stanley now we can do the, the polls again. Tightly to his chest. And entered the door on his left. I love this bucket. All right. So now the bucket actually, I'm not even kidding, literally changes the dynamic of the entire game. Like the entire game changes because of this bucket. So, um, <laughs> dude, I'm seeing people say that. Oh, that's so cool. Dano, I appreciate you. That's so cool. I submitted a plush idea to makeshift. That's epic. 
I'm going to say the last time Clone Riggy is still alive. Okay, you guys are funny. All right, there we go. Pole. So this entirely changes the game. So where should we go? Left or right with the bucket? We're on a completely new adventure. It's pretty much a new game with the bucket. So uh, which, which way should we go? Left or right? Let me know. Let me know. Come on, tell me. We got a bucket. He told us to go to the left, but now we have a bucket. So should we go to the left or the right? Which endings do you guys want to see redone with the bucket? I like monkey. Monkeys, I like monkeys too. <gasps> monkey spit. I got the reference because your name is monkey. Okay, I'm seeing 61% says go to the right, so we are going to go to the right. <gasps> uh, we're going to the right with the bucket. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him. I felt it. I felt Bucky. The employee lounge was simply the place to be. Yeah. Bucky's usually right. We're going to go to the employee and lounge. Was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? I was think this so. Better than the meeting room? It was. Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. It is, because How the bucket told me so. The bucket, turned out to be the bucket is insightful. I love this bucket. It's amazing. No, it's so smart. Mind. The bucket was wrong. No, it wasn't. The Stanley bucket was correct. Was left to go back to the meeting room. The music was copyrighted from BFDI. Was it actually... Did I actually get copyrighted? Oh, no. I have a joke. A horse went into the bar. The horse said, yes, please. Dude, did I actually get the stream copyrighted? No way. That's going to that's gonna stink. That's really going to stink if I did. Hold on. Let me check. Content. Live. Public monetization. No, I didn't. I think. Yeah, I think we're good. It's okay. We didn't get it copyrighted. Oh, wait. Okay, I didn't get a chance to, I didn't even get a chance to ask the, the poll, hold on. Alright, start a poll. Hold on. Left, left, right. Alright, new poll, let's do it. You're my favorite YouTuber, thank you, Snowy. That's really genuinely like crazy to hear people say that to me. Alright, should we go left or right? Let me know. Uh, he wants us to go here with a bucket. Uh, we could also go to the right with a bucket. We need to clone Riggy Plush, maybe one day, we'll see. Uh, yeah, it would be great to profit off of him since he's dead. Profit off the, the dead. You know, actually, that's kind of scary. He could haunt us at that point. All right, I'm seeing 55% of people say we're going to go to the right, so we're going to go to the right. And the poll, let's go to the right with the bucket. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Bucky go has a voice? Else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. Okay, so there's actually three options here. Should we go on the cargo lift, ride it up there, or should we jump off, or should we go on this catwalk? We can jump off the cargo lift and go to the catwalk. So what should we do? Should we, should we, hold on, let me say in the chat, start a Q&A, or start a poll. There we go. Okay, so ride all the way, catwalk, jump to floor. Which way should we go? Let me know. Started another poll. Good job, you made it to the bottom of the mind control facility. Good job, you did it. 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 Should have been careful. Should have been careful. Whoa, there's an interesting that way. Actually, oh, that's where the Stan Loreen figurine is. Whoa, almost uh, accidentally fell off. All right, I'm seeing 42% says jump to the floor. So we're going to jump to the floor. End the poll. All righty. That was pretty close, actually. All right, come on. Whee! And Stanley feared that any path he walked might lead to the separation of himself and the bucket, his dearest friend. The bucket is my dearest friend. So he friend. threw himself to his death that they yes. might die in one another's arms. Yes. How deeply touching. It is pretty touching. The bucket and I are, uh, we're intertwined in a deep relationship. Ooh, there's papers all over the ground for no reason. All of this Very scary. Gone. What could it mean? I still hear grape Stanley jelly. I love you too. To the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I probably missed a memo, but also let's pick Stanley up the bucket. lifted the bucket into his arms, and a wave of comfort rushed over him. I feel comforted by this bucket. Truly comforted. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Start a poll, left or right. Dude, I love this poll feature. It's so cool. I'll probably use it, like, less in other streams, but this one is just, it's a novelty right now, so it's fun. And I like interacting with you guys, okay? I like, that's the point of streaming, is interacting with the viewers, right? And so, I'm seeing right again, I think, is the majority going on here. Yeah, 54, oh, never mind, 83%. Oh, back down to 55%, 54%, 55, 54. All right, cool, we're going to the right again. Yeah, it's, dude, hey, the point of streams is to interact with you guys, and it's cool, because, you know... 
but Stanley had felt I did feel the bucket calling to me. When I, you know, when I play, when I make videos, it's one-sided. You know, I'm just making a video and then I'm, you know, sending it out to you guys. You guys can tell me. And here it was. The bucket turned out to be correct. Yes, he did. We're going back over here. All right. Uh, another one. Let's go. Should we go to the left or should we continue onwards? Can you please do the confusion ending with the bucket? Uh, let's see. Hold on. You know, actually, just because that super chat, we will do the confusion ending with the bucket. And so the two of them detoured through the maintenance section. Actually, we haven't even done the confusion ending yet, which is not good because there's... Oh, man, you guys don't even know about the adventure line. The adventure line is the best part about this game, and you guys don't know about it. Stanley, I'm glad you found your way here. I knew you'd find this place eventually. <laughs> this is the adventure line. friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. These are a bunch of... Here because we care about you very much. Hi, Grape Jelly. It's this bucket you're carrying around everywhere. The bucket the pencil sharpener. from the original Stanley Parable. It's just sequel content. We're the ones that matter, Stanley. Classic characters... Nice, I'm happy for you, like Raffi. the adventure line and the broom closet. Because that's what fans want from a sequel. They want more of their favorite jokes. Not this bucket that they've never seen before. Yes, I know I'm the one who gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much time with it. Don't you want another story involving the adventure line? We could make the adventure line go somewhere new. Yes, yes, <gasps> that's what the fans want. Let's do it. The adventure line. Dude, this is so sad. The joke isn't landing as good because you guys don't know what the adventure line is. Who knows where it'll go off to next? Oh, and it played some silly music as well. Uh, I don't know if this is copyrighted, so we're going to mute it. <laughs> Let, I'll sing it for you guys. Let da 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 what the Stanley Parable is all about. Don't you remember all those great jokes from the original dialogue? This area isn't finished. Addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> That's good that you got it's that as joke. Classic now as it was back then. It Let's is classic. Do it for the fans, Stanley. Let's give them more content exactly like this. Sounds but good. If we want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. No, uh, -uh. I won't have to. No, I love this bucket. I won't have to give up the bucket. You guys are kidding. You're, you're kidding. I'm not gonna give up the bucket. It's not happening. Don't you get it, Stanley? We need to get rid of the bucket. That's why I'm yeah, very sure. proud to introduce a brand new character. This is the Bucket Destroyer. We have to use a new... I think it'll make a wonderful no. new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley Parable. The rich True, lore. It also was not in the original game, but it's such a well-fleshed-out character with so much personality that to me, it already feels as though it's been part of the cast all along. Don't you agree? Um, so... Can you guess what the Bucket Destroyer does? Surely you don't need makes to buckets, right? It ahead, uh, gives love. Say goodbye to the bucket, and then pop it into the machine when you're ready. Interesting. Uh, no. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Now listen to me. No. It's crucial that you give it the bucket. I don't know what the bucket destroys. Thank you for the 499. Ricky's, beh Ricky's behind me. No. buckets is all it knows. That is its singular personality trait. Sure, I can hear you saying Oh, the short? A nice. With only one personality trait deserved to join the pantheon of beloved Stanley Parable characters. Well, you see, if you were to really explore the Bucket Destroyer, you would see that its desire to crush buckets is so densely loaded with complexity and nuance that it's really like ten personalities. He's getting louder. Other object in this game, can you even say that about? The broom closet? Certainly not. I wonder what sort of Bucket Destroyer merchandise the fans will be clamoring for after this. No, okay, we're keeping the bucket. The bucket I'm sorry. Love it too much. Thank you for the 99 cents. We can't get it's getting upset. I don't care. I'm keeping the bucket. I don't care. It's mine. You can't take it from me. I don't care that you're gonna explode. I don't care. I can die. I don't care. I'm keeping the bucket. So we sacrificed our lives for the bucket, but it was worth it. Oh, thank you. Hey, you will see me next Saturday, and I will ask you to remember me. Oh, yeah. Hacker Hero have I. I'm sure I will. Oh, no. It's dead. It's the ghost of the bucket destroyer. My prized creation. His prized creation. We it had so much potential. Marvelous things. With you, tell marvelous spell things. Binding spell binding stories. Squandered now. Squandered. Goodbye, new friend. Goodbye, my child. The moment in time that you were here, you were magnificent. You were magnificent. I love you. Goodbye. But also not, I don't love you that much because you try to take away my bucket. My bucket is the only thing that brings me joy and happiness. Aside from my wonderful girlfriend. She's amazing. I love her. Her name is Leia and she's the best.
But also, my bucket is just like, dude, it's it's probably the best thing that's ever happened to me. I'm just gonna be 100% honest. <laughs> hey, were gone. What could, could it mean? mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Yoink. The confusion and the chaos all seemed to melt away. It all melted Stanley away. Embraced the bucket. As I embraced my bucket. Uh, it's changed again. The hallways have changed. That makes me so uncomfortable when that happens. Uh, look at that. Wow. Blue things. This is completely... It's altered. It's changed. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly I did. I clutched it. And entered the door on his left. Oh my gosh. If I press right click, then he just moves forward. This entire game is playable with just a mouse. That is crazy. I just discovered something new. All right. Here we go. Oh, wait. Hold on. There we go. Let's do another poll. Which way should we go? Here we go. Left or right? Answer. Starting the poll. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. You got to tell me. Let me know. I'm seeing a bunch of lefts this time. Interesting. Yeah, we have gone to the right a lot, actually. So you're probably right. 56, 55 to the left. All right. Sounds good. Yeah, we'll go to the left. Make it a bundem. What? Uh, were you trying to make a Bundon reference? I love Bundon. He's amazing. But also, I don't know what you're talking about, so we're going to go to the left. All righty. Bucket and I on our wonderful, amazing adventures. It's so great. Isn't it great? Do you guys wish you had a bucket? I'm sorry. I know. It's pretty cool. Ah, I love this. I love this bucket. Good talk. Uh, broom closet. Yes, let's do this. Broom closet ending with the bucket. Can you feel it? I can feel it. Broom closet. It wants the bucket. No! Oh, we're leaving then! No. Of jealousy? No. As as Get away from me. Room closet believes it deserves the no, bucket. you don't. You don't. No, it's my bucket. You can have the bucket. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. No, it belongs to me. No. -uh. It's supposed to go with the other cleaning sure. supplies. Sure. I will. Good for you, Stanley. Don't give in. Don't hand over the bucket. Yeah, it's mine. I know you can have it. I know how hard it must be, given the pressure that the broom closet is putting on your shoulders right now. But you no, have to be you can have it. This is mine. This is my bucket. This is your companion. This is my companion. This is my lifelong friend. You have my bucket. No. 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 This is how low the broom closet has sunk that it has to resort to this stream of petty insults simply in order to get you to hand over the bucket. You can't have it. Stanley. It's mine. I don't like this broom closet for a variety of reasons. I agree. Even this is worse than I had imagined. Yes. Can wait. Now the broom closet has the gall to imply that you and the bucket are not truly deep and lasting friends? Yeah, we are. That your relationship is purely superficial and convenient? No. -uh. Your life is so banal and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object which happened to lay in your path in an even partially enticing manner? Well, I never. I never. Don't Stanley. Lay into it. Really tell the broom closet off for its demeaning comments. Expand on the wide variety of experiences you and the bucket have shared together. We have been through so much. Point by point, you know what? First I met this bucket, I, 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 uh, the second I laid eyes on it, I was in love, okay? I know you could never understand the, the intense connection I have with this bucket. It's not, it's not purely, it's not purely physical, okay? I love this bucket emotionally, deeply. I want to share my life with this bucket. We all love buckets, I agree, but nobody loves buckets more than me. Something which I think will help settle this debate once and for all. Good. Here we go. Property of Stanley. Look at that. We have a sticker on the bucket. No more discussion. No more discussion. Take a hike, broom closet. Yeah. Take that. Philosophical diatribes about the nature of cleaning supplies and their relationship to broom closets in the natural order of things. Ha ha ha. It's my my bucket. I'm glad. I'm glad that, that we've come to an agreement. Ah, I love All this right. bucket. I've got a second sticker. <gasps> He's got a second here, sticker. Brilliant. It, well I think it's it is probably appropriate. Oh, look at that, another bucket. I feel that it works because the sticker is also a bucket. That does work. That way, if you're ever unsure whether the thing you're holding is a bucket or not, you can look down at this sticker and say to yourself, ah. It's a bucket. It's a bucket. That's good. I was I was unsure if this bucket was a bucket or not, so it's good that he added that bucket sticker on there. I think that's all the dialogue, right? I'll stand here for a couple more seconds, but I think that's all the dialogue. I could take the name calling and the dismissal of your kinship with the bucket, but now the broom closet is just a <gasps> silent treatment. The silent honest, treatment. I'm sick of the pettiness on display. Me too. You can stay here all you like, but I've had it with this impetulant room of cleaning supplies. Impetulant. Easily the most childish such room I've ever been in. Indeed. I'll see you outside, and we can get mm. on with the story about you and your bucket. Good. Goodbye. 
Get away from me. Tragic. Telling to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Sounds good. Actually, wait a minute. Should we should we walk upstairs or downstairs? Um is that where's the downstairs? There's the red room downstairs. Oh, give me the Stanlorine. Hold on. Another miniature Stanley figurine. This um you know, there really must be a snappier name for these things. Oh, that was a spoiler. Mini stands. Stanley. I like Stanlorine more. Oh, what about Stanlorine? <gasps> I think I like that. I like that too. Another Stanlorine under your belt. Indeed. It's actually like a mini mat pad, but whatever. Okay, here we go. New poll. Should we go in there or should we go upstairs? It's my bucket. It's my companion. Deno 2023. Seven donation. Only Aussie viewer. Thank you, Refi, once again. All right, another poll. Should we go into the red room? Red room or boss's office? There we are. Start a poll. And remember, we do have the bucket, so the boss's office would be different if we went into it. But uh, let me know. Should we go into the red room, or should we go into the boss's office? I'm seeing more red rooms than boss's office, so we will go into the red room. Sounds a good. Hold on. Dude, it's crazy that you guys vote so fast. <laughs> All right, red room, boss's office, or instead of the boss's office. I couldn't do it. Consider the possibility of facing his boss. I could have faced my boss. One, two, B, four. That's funny. I might be fired. Such a competitive economy. Why had he taken that risk? Why had I taken that risk? Believed everyone had vanished. His boss Silly. He was crazy. He would. Then, something occurred to Stanley. Hmm. Maybe. He thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. Maybe I am crazy. He down at the bucket in his arms. Am hmm. I crazy? He asked the bucket. Hey, bucket, am I the crazy? He turned his gaze, but said nothing at all. Nothing? Well, that's <gasps> strange, Stanley thought. Usually the bucket is a source of guidance and wisdom for me in difficult times such as these. That is a bit sad. The he bucket's always the bucket been there for me. He had felt none of its familiar reassurance and comfort. And that's when... <laughs> that's funny. Thank you for the five. my bucket. It's just a normal. <gasps> this isn't my bucket. Someone else's bucket, perhaps. How did I end up with someone else's bucket? This is all terribly wrong. I Surely did do a short about that already, actually. Who knows what Thank you for the suggestion, though. It was a good idea. Might without the Wait, where'd my bucket just go? I actually lost it. Hold on, I wasn't looking. I looked away from the screen for two seconds, and the bucket disappeared. Which was, of course, very cool. Where did it go? And now he felt himself floating off. Did you guys see where it went? Ah, I'm floating. Without my bucket, I've gone truly mad. I've gone I mad without my bucket. Where's my bucket? In the distance now, he heard it calling to him. It's calling to me? Stanley, Stanley it's me, the bucket. Uh, just like he looks like now. <gasps> Where is it? Oh, uh, the bucket's just generated by me. None of them were his. None of them were his special bucket. These are all just fake buckets. Where's my bucket? I'm going crazy. He had to return to his old friend. It was I need my bucket. Restore his sanity. I need it. Where is it? He was dead in his tracks. He knew where the voice of the bucket had been coming from. Where had it been coming from? It was inside of him all along. <gasps> it was incredibly painful. <laughs> oh no. Stanley doubled over in agony and blacked out. I guess me having a bucket inside of me was a little bit painful, which uh, checks this out. This is a story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella, interesting. <coughs> Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, picked up her bucket of comfort and security, and walked to her place of work. Let me read the super chats. I think I missed a couple, actually. Day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town, talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Right away, she knew what the problem was. What was the this problem? This man had no bucket. Oh, of obviously. he gone mad. Of course. And raving about a narrator describing <laughs> all of his actions and how everything is predetermined and free will is an illusion and it's all just a video game. It could all have been... A video if game? If only he'd taken his bucket with If him. only. Perhaps he didn't even realize he'd forgotten his bucket at home in the first place. Ah, oh, cool perhaps. the world can be. And she hugged her own bucket even tighter. But of course, she had no time for this. There were a myriad of confusing problems she would soon have to confront at work, for which her bucket would provide absolute guidance and total clarity on everything. Heck yes, she thought to herself, my life kicks ass. And she backflipped all mouth. the way to work. She backflipped all the way to work. I love that. That's great. 
I saw somebody say that this stream was boring, or this Saturday's stream was boring. I apologize, truly. If it was, if it was a little boring for you, it's more. This stream was more focused on the game than me, and I understand that might be. You know, you guys come to see me talk and interact with you guys, so I apologize. Um, hopefully next time. Yeah. The N next. Room. Yes, that's where everyone would be. Yes. Stanley just needed to get to the meeting room, and from then on, he would never be alone ever again. Absolutely. Let's go to the meeting room. Spread through Stanley's arms. With the bucket in his arms again, he was home. I'm home. I have a bucket in my arms, so I'm home. <gasps> I fell through a window. Yes. Whispered the bucket into Stanley's ear. We've done it. We've escaped from that dull office and that pesky narrator. We escaped. Us, out here in the white void, we are alone now. And for the first time, I can reveal to you my true self. <gasps> the bucket began to tell Stanley of its life and its history. Of the countless wars, it was I don't know what that is, but I'll check it out. Land and lives of untold numbers of innocent humans. Oh my gosh. Its own complicity therein. Oh my gosh. Sadness and regret. And the many years it spent dwelling on the actions it might have taken to curb the madness and the decay. If only it had been stronger. If only. Of hope and redemption. Hope. And its crusade to uplift the stock of life for the common man. To manifest justice where none existed. <gasps> the bittersweet reality of time to see one's dreams and wishes met halfway, meted out in parcels like charity, and abandoned as soon as the warm glow of inspiration begins to dim. I'm kind of going the crazy with this tide. There was so much more. There was so much it could have done. There was so much the bucket, the bucket could have done. To Perhaps Sorry, it's just getting a little hot. Its own darkness with a clearer perception. This was way too much for Stanley. This is a little what too much. What are you much. talking about? He screamed. You're a bucket! You're a bucket! This, the bucket furrowed its brow. What eyebrows? Said the bucket. Not since the evil wizard Gamhorata first ensnared me <gasps> in his machinations as... Gamhorata! ...amulet I stole from his treasured vaults. <gasps> he was young back then and could not conceive the ramifications of... No! Stanley screamed... I love this ending, time. dude. This is stupid! This is great. You this is stupid! Why are we doing this? Stanley screamed and screamed and screamed. The bucket revealed its true form, transforming into a mighty beast of untold power. Oh my gosh. It's glistening like That's My god, Stanley, you did it. You saved us from the bucket. No. You already had all 12 My child. Sages and knew the incantations to summon their true power. Otherwise, we would have easily been overwhelmed by the bucket's power. I'm speechless. You've demonstrated such bravery here today. Come, let's restart the game, and we'll agree to never again go trifling with this bucket, nor the dark magic cast away inside of it. What if you only sat in a chair? Nice. Uh, so I'm kind of heartbroken. We just killed the bucket. <laughs> uh, surely that was just a different bucket, though. Perhaps you baked me a pie. Thank you, mate. Stanley picked up the bucket and smiled. I like the bucket. He'd never be alone again. Not truly alone. Not with the bucket around. Yes, the bucket will protect me. I like this bucket. The bucket is good. The bucket will keep me safe. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. I'm clutching it tightly to my chest. I'm entering the door on my left. That was tragic. Did you see? Dude, that was kind of rough. The bucket. Uh, the bucket betrayed us. That was a different bucket, though. It's because of that under... Uh, uh, yeah, shout it again, Refi. Didn't you? I'm pretty sure I've shouted you out before, though, but whatever. Boss's office. Boss's office, all right. Oh, thank you, mate. All the effort, yeah. Oh, wait. wait but, but. What just happened? Uh. So I accidentally locked myself out of the office. That just happened. Where do I go now? I don't remember. Uh, everything's locked. Oh, that's good. I can go in the bathroom. This is good. <laughs> Oops. Oh. Wait, can I go back in? Okay, cool. Okay, so it opened the way back downstairs for me. That's good. I guess we're just backtracking now.
Wow, he's not even angry about us at the broom closet. That's kind of crazy. Trust the completionist instinct. Dude, I don't I don't get completionists. Like, I feel like once a game stops being fun, you have to stop playing it. You know what I mean? There's no point. Like, especially, like, Breath of the Wild, dude. Breath of the Wild's completionist, dude. That that hurt. Like, the Korok seeds. You know what I mean? I mean, if it's fulfilling to you, then, yeah, go ahead. Do it. No judgment towards you. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, that's rough. Oh, I remember. This is the... Yeah. Okay, I remember what I think this is. <gasps> Secret door opened. Where are we going? The end is never the end is never the end. We're now leaving. <gasps> Go through the red door. Escape pod bay, floor 760. All right. Let's just go up the stairs. Bucket and I might be able to escape together, forge a new life of our own. This Bucket and I, we're, we're going to live a full life. We're going to live a, a life of solitude and happiness. It'll be wholesome and satisfying. It'll be fulfilling, truly fulfilling. This Bucket and I will go on many great adventures together. We have gone on many great adventures already, but our future holds something far brighter. This bucket and I we're going to we're going to experience things, you know? We're going to feel things, we're going to smell the grass, we're going to touch the grass, we're going to smell the air, we're going to look into the skies, we're gonna see clouds together. It's gonna to be wonderful. This bucket and I are going to have such wonderful, amazing dreams lived out in real time. We might even have children. Who's to say? <gasps> escape pad launch bay. Here we are. Escape. The bucket and I are finally coming to the end of our path. All of these struggles is all worth it because the bucket and I are going to leave. Going to leave this place. Going to leave it forever. Look at that. Here we are. Here it comes. <sighs> He's leaving without us. Shh. It's okay. Oh, he's crying. We had to take away his tear. It's okay. I think only one of us can leave. The narrator always needs someone. And that someone is me. I'll stay behind. The bucket will leave us. It's okay. We'll be okay. You'll be okay without- Stop! That ruined the mood. Don't ooh-woo me. This is an emotional moment, okay? He left us, guys. He's gone. He launched away. The bucket is gone. Oh. My emotion is too great. He escaped. This needed to happen. I hope he has safe travels. I hope he lands somewhere great. Am I somewhere sure beautiful. Stopped coming in? Shut up, narrator! I'm going through something! They never stopped. Surely I was mistaken. He's gone. He's truly gone. He left us. The bucket is gone. Oh, my heart. Everyone's crying, look. Dano is British? Yeah, I'd, sorry, I turned on the accent. To do my emotional thing. I'll just do an emo I'll just do a normal voice. The bucket left me! <laughs> it's okay. We have to be strong. When Stanley came to a set of two we have to go on without him. Way to the room, Bucky. Knew it well. uh -huh. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge uh -huh. first, just to admire it. F's in the chat for Bucket. He was truly the the bucket of all time. Standing now in this incredible room, Ugh. Stanley for the first time understood true happiness. I do. Then I understand true away, happiness. And he felt sad again. Oh, I remembered that we don't have a bucket. Now I'm sad again. A minute or two. Now it's only half there. Just a kind of, um, tingle. While this room is very great, I'll never be truly happy without my bucket. <laughs> That's it. All right. Eager to get back to business. Back to business. Took the first open door on his left. Sounds good. We're taking the first open door on the left. <gasps> An elevator. Where could this go? No, we haven't done this ending before. We did the ending with the bucket, but now we're going to do the... F this is actually, I think, my favorite ending in the whole game. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. I don't want to go back to the office. <laughs> office. Why are you dead? Was it so, so emotional? Back, the bucket was too emotional for you, huh? 
Uh, which way do we need to go? The narrator's confused. Um, left. Oh, that's good. I love going to the left. Left's my favorite. Oh, no. No, it's to the right. My mistake. Oh, he made a simple mistake. That's okay. Well, all right. No, 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 no not the right. Not the right? I have ever said it was to the right. What was I thinking? What was he thinking? It's clearly... Oh, dear. Would you hold on for a minute, please? Oh, yeah, my bad. Take your time. Sorry, Chief. Uh, we're holding on for a minute. He's uh, he's trying to figure right, stuff out. It's okay. See, we went down right, left, uh, right, down, left, down, right, left, right. right. Yeah, yep, yep. that's what we okay, did. Okay, okay, yes, I've got it now. Oh, he's got it. All right, we're good. Absolutely, definitely this way. You lost your football game zero to twenty-seven. Oh, I'm sorry, man. You know what? You can't win them all. That's pretty rough. Zero to twenty-seven, man. Well, you know what? You can't win them all. Sometimes some teams are just you know maybe they they all had had energy drinks that morning and you guys didn't. Maybe they were on steroids. You know what? You should have just you know what? You should have actually just accused them of cheating. Twenty-seven is pretty uh, pretty intense. Twenty-seven is my lucky number though. Anyway, yeah, that's that's rough. <gasps> No, 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 this isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. My bad. Let's Everybody, close your eyes. eyes. Spoilers. Okay, okay. Spoilers. Okay, we, just, we can't see this. Back to, um, oh, who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. Oh, it's all rubbish. Story, I love that word. That's a British oh, word. Okay. Rubbish. I waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense. We'll just restart the game from the beginning. Oh. This time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? My bad. Okay. I didn't From mean to. The top. From the top. My bad. All right, we're good. All of his co-workers were gone. What, what could, could it mean? mean? Stan had decided to go to the meeting room. Bucket Stan is gone. Missed a memo. I probably missed a memo. All right, back on it. There we are. Two open doors. <gasps> wait, wait, what? No, I'm... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Hmm. Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere, or... No. -uh. Hey, thank you, you for the two, Limitless you? Gamer. I'm the one who wrote the story. Yeah, you're the one who wrote it. Right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. <gasps> it's an adventure. Let's find the story. All right, let's go find the story. It's hiding here somewhere. All right, let's see. Let's take a right here. Take a right here. I'm just using my gamer instincts at this point. Left, uh, right, yeah. Take a left. Oh, we'll go through this doorway. That looks good. Mm, see. Oh, there's a bright light going on through here. Oh, there's a doorway through here. Let's go through here. <gasps> see, we're making progress. All righty, we're gonna find the story. Uh, not the story. Hold on. Let's see. Yeah, I took a wrong turn, maybe. You know what? Let's just keep exploring. Oh, you know what? Yeah, this looks right. Uh-huh. So, we made a circle. I'll uh, say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I'm working on it, pal. There definitely was a story here before. I agree. There, ta there definitely was. Restart the game again? Oh, here we are. Progress. I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. <laughs> not it's progress. Be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? All right, let's give it a shot. Sorry. Well, uh, kind of got a little mangled that time. We're gonna do it again. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? What Stanley could it mean? Decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Probably missed a memo. It's okay. Let's see. Okay. Yep. It's worse. Oops. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Mm, Why true. Don't we go back let's go back. The other direction and see if we missed anything. Yeah, let's let's retrace our steps. I saw somebody in chat say Dano is hot, not gonna lie. Dude, I appreciate like for my ego, you guys keep on calling me attractive and stuff, but also it's uh yeah, at least we got rid of the Dan daddy Dano stuff. <laughs> I, I don't have to say anything actually. Just thank you for thank you for complimenting me. Thank you for helping my ego. But also again, I am taken. I I do have a wonderful girlfriend and I'm uh yeah, she's she's uh she's perfect in every way. Uh, that's all I need. I knew we'd miss something. Oh, yeah, we missed something. Story. Here it comes. All right, let's go find the story. Oh, dead end. Never mind. Not the story. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Okay, yeah, let's retrace our steps really quick. Huh? Now this... Well, I'll be honest. I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I don't think so. No. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It... Is that correct? I think so. Mm. Do you remember Stanley? Maybe. Well, do you know what? I just Since remember I there being a, a bucket, actually. I think that was the focus. How about this? 
You win. Hey, congratulations, everyone. It was difficult. Let's see. How, how long was it? We've been streaming for three hours, and we won. All righty. Good job. Speed running. Speed running shorts. We both know you didn't put in any actual work. What do you mean? Yes, I did. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. I won fair and square. I don't know what you're talking about. Weirded out by whatever this place is. Yeah, it is a bit creepy, isn't it? Might happen this time. Oh, thanks for joining. We start. Okay, sounds good. Alright, I've got a solution. Two. That's nice detail. I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Alrighty. Follow the line. How simple is that? Sounds good. Alrighty, we are following the adventure line. How brilliant. Oh, I love the adventure line, actually. It's my favorite character in this game besides the bucket. The bucket is better. Actually, can we go this way still? Anything? Are the doors there? Nothing? No, no, I'm done. We're leaving it up to the line from now on. Oh, all right, my bad. My bad. Sorry, Chief. We're going back. We're going back to the line. Where's the line? There's the line. Ooh, buttons. Beep, beep. All right, well, the adventure line's taking us on a new path that I've never seen before, but it must be worth trying. See? The line knows where the story is. That's good. It's over in this direction. Oh, it's Onward in this direction. Stanley, to destiny. To destiny, everyone. Here's a thought. Here's a thought. Well, wherever we end up be our destination. What's this way? If there's no story there. Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? That's weird. Simply by the act of moving okay. forward... Are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. All right, all right, and hold we on. We can both agree that the nature of existence is in fact a byproduct of one's subjective experience of that existence, right? Interesting. Okay. I see your now, point. if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, Mm -hmm. Is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, I would whoa, whoa, say whoa. yes. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. A little bit weird? Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. Where were you going with you that? You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Ah, copyright! All right, sounds good. I'll sing it for you guys again. La da 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 La da 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 La da 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 <laughs> Yeah, he's just playing some adventure music to get us in the mood for our trek across the ages. Hold on, is there anything back here? Door? Anything in the door? Anything in this door? Nothing? All right, sounds good. Going through all these box walls. Ooh, very scary. We're finding the story, guys. We're doing a great job. All right, let's see. Ooh, very cool room. Monthly ledgers, corporate imbalances. All righty, this play. Oh. All right, hold on. That doesn't match up. There's nothing here. But the, uh, hold on. Excuse me. Okay, this pillar is very thin. It should be very simplistic, but for some reason, it's being very complex. Uh, employee 432 peer reviews. Ooh, employee 432 seems uh, a little bit problematic. Is that just me? All right, see. Well, I guess they were in a. They were so problematic that they had to be put in their own hidden portal. And now it's gone forever. That's tragic. Alrighty, well, sounds good. Cut the music. Go oh. back and look at that fern. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Interesting. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You okay. won't want to miss anything. Okay, I see. It's got uh, a couple leaves here, and then there's some leaves over there. Interesting. Alright, let's see. Let's, uh, you know what, actually, let me just, uh, there we go. Took a screen grab of it. That's that way uh, we can just uh, have it uh, for reference for later. <laughs> it's a bit cheaty, isn't it? My bad. <laughs> La -da 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 -da. Wait, what? we're back at the office? No, no, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Is the line misleading us? Excuse me? <gasps> oh, no. No, 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 not again, Line. How could you have done this to us? And after we How could you have done this, Line? Oh, come on. You... Well, I can't take this anymore to hell with it. Oui. Restart. Portimo. You know what? I never particularly liked the color yellow anyway. Bananas. Ugh. You know, you know Reggie Stanley, likes... I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? True. We're intelligent people, right? We are intelligent. We make up our own story. Factual. Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Mysterious. Ooh. 
This all sounds perfectly doable. I agree. We simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Sounds good. Yeah, Riggy likes bananas, yellow, so uh, I guess he, you know, might like the color yellow. I never now, liked bananas, actually. Yes, this is Riggy's part monkey, so Just of course he likes Stanley bananas. Forging a new path, a new story. Well, new path! All right, going in circles, but whatever. Be, go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm that was trippy. for it. Me too. All right, we're going on a new story. We're going through all these walls and things, and just we're just oh, gonna keep no, tagging no, along. Again, Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it, and we should be fine. All right, sounds good. I'll ignore it. Come on, line. What are you doing here? Go get your own story. They should make a spin-off of the Stanley Parable just about the line. You know what I mean? Just, just you know, the line, the game, the Stan, the Stanley Parable Adventure Line, the game. Ah. A choice. A choice. To make a decision. Interesting. Here, the story is in our control. Sounds good. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just Sounds good. Circles for a minute. All righty. Okay. Hmm. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere, mm -hmm. which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. Interesting. And that in turn means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. Mm. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? Interesting. Since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Perfect. Another victory for logic. The door on the right. Stanley, our destiny awaits. Sounds good. Oh, hold up, what's this? They both led oh. the same way. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game eight eight times? That's really how all Stanley it's ties. Ended. It's all determined. So now according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well what if I don't want to forget? Find the confusion in the schedule. Narrator restarts the game. It's written here on this this Thing, wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really? No, it can't be. I, d I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. Thank I you for the two. Do it. I won't do it. Won't do it. And the time return stopped. <gasps> Does that mean, um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this... Ah, oh, new bucket. Thank you, mate. How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So, okay. I guess now we just wait. <sighs> you know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story, wouldn't you agree? I agree. This is a kind sure of story on its own. Destination or the journey, though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So True. I hope that's where we are right now. Indeed. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Surely. Well, in the meantime, if you. That was scary. Alrighty then. All right. So I think what we're gonna do is just uh, probably one more ending, maybe two. And then we will, well, first we'll do a vote on what game I should play next week. And then, you know, we'll chill and watch a couple YouTube videos, because I've got a couple that I'd love to share with you guys and react to. All right, let's check it. Bucket. Bucket, bucket. Who's got a bucket? I got try a bucket. Not to lose this one, too, you dolt. Uh, we lost the last one, right, because we shot it off into space. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Sounds good. Yeah, we'll do one more ending. All righty. Uh, I know what I know a good ending to end off on on so uh, we won't do a poll We'll come back to the Stanley parable one day most likely it's gonna be a while dude I just realized you know how many streams I don't get to do I only stream Coming once a week Stanley's, on Saturdays Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office sounds good Yeah, I only get to stream like once a week on Saturdays And so it's not actually a lot of time that I get to stream. I love this panda picture by the way Look at this business strategy hold a gun to a panda's head Kind of tragic, isn't it? Is that a smoke detector? No, it's just a light. I thought I saw a smoke detector. Maybe I'm crazy. Anyway, anything on the computer? No, nothing. 
Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. <gasps> No human life. The weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire, if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. Even now, in his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light pierce the All right, hamsters. of confusion and chaos. It would be with him always. The All righty. And he knew it. That's good. The two of them were inseparable. We are inseparable. Point, Thank Stanley you for the <laughs> Moai emoji. Thank you for the five. Connection he shared with the bucket, I do have a spiritual connection. The behind the boss's desk. <gasps> There's a keypad. Of simply being near the bucket, did he have any notion that the pin number for the keypad was two eight four five? Interesting. Well, I don't really care about the keypad because I have a bucket, and the bucket is all I'll ever need. But uh, you know, we'll just throw it in here anyway. You know, it couldn't hurt. Oh, oops, I didn't put it in right to a... Stanley just four. sat around twiddling his thumb. Yes, I did. Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Probably. Was the bucket guiding him? You know what? Yes. I wouldn't doubt it. This is certainly the most logical explanation. Indeed. Ah. <sighs> The elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting him. It is soothing me. It is comforting me. In this me. moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. I would be all right, because I have a bucket. Stanley. It is. Everything will be fine. I agree. That's what I tell myself all the time. I should buy my own bucket and then just have it near my bed so I can sleep better every Stanley night. Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the large door that read... Mind control facility. You know what? Maybe if I had a bucket near my bed, then spiders wouldn't bite me every 10 minutes. Oi. Seriously, I wake up. Dude, I woke up one time and I had like 12 spider bites. I'm not, it's not an exaggeration. It's like six. Like six. I had three on my arm, one on my way, hip, a couple on my feet. It was rough. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. <gasps> what horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the bucket both wondered to themselves. Thank you for the five. Weird question, so I'm not going to answer that. Riggy's not. He's uh, he's uh, dating Rosie, just like me. We don't uh, cheat on our lovers. Are you just gonna keep doing that over and over again? Jeez, mate. The monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Oh, brilliant! Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. That's a weird question no matter what. If he was blank, who would he do it to? That's like saying, oh, if he wasn't with Rosie, who would he do it to? That's so strange. Don't ask questions like that. The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very... When I say, when I, when you say do it to, that makes me immediately think of negative. You know what? Actually, you know what? I don't think we have ever, uh, I, I don't think I've ever actually timed someone out or banned anybody before, but I think that's going to be my first one. Let's see. There we go. <laughs> Uh, there we go. Let's see. How do I... Oh, put user in timeout. How long can I timeout for? Put user in timeout. Oh, it's not letting me. Dang. Well, I put him in a timeout. I don't think it uh, allows me to... Uh. Yeah, it doesn't tell me how long I could time somebody out for, but... Anyway, that's the first time I've ever timed anybody out. It was just a weird question, you know what I mean? It's not a... Like, who would he do it to? I. It just makes me uncomfortable. He's a cartoon rabbit, guys. Don't sexualize him, okay? Gently, Thank you for the two. That everything would be fine. It's wholesome. He's dating Rosie. I'm sorry, I just can't get that out of my mind. Do it too is so. Ugh, I don't know. This, you know what I mean? It's just. Ugh. You guys agree, right? It's not just me being weird. Do it too makes me think of like self pleasure, and it's just I don't know. It's weird to imagine like Riggy. It's like the R thirty four stuff. Like it's funny with like the jokes sometimes, but that's just gross. I don't know. Yeah, he's a cartoon, right? It's not just me. He's a cartoon. Don't sexualize him. Like it's funny to like make like the criminal jokes and like the, you know, like the jokes about like lore and stuff. But I don't know. I just. It's, sex is just a weird thing to joke about. Like, you know, like, Riggy is, is, uh, he's a criminal for, like, like, 
like mugging and and you know what actually okay you know what let's let's get this out of the way there is two crimes that riggy is not guilty of he's done pretty much all the others in the book like like uh, tax fraud money fraud mugging uh, you know all of the things what is a uh, jay skipping jay walking but number one no sex related crimes because he's not an animal <laughs> you know what i mean by he's not in it like he's not crazy and two racism he's not racist <laughs> um because he was actually bullied a lot when he was a kid because you know he's got a rabbit's tail or he's got a rabbit's ears and monkey's tail so he was actually he was actually bullied a lot because he's different from everybody else and so he's actually he's never been racist uh, that's the one thing that he's uh, you know those are the two so he's never done any hate crimes you know what i mean He's done crimes that are hateful towards people, but not because of anything particularly, you know, upsetting about them. You know, he was he was bullied when he was a kid, and so uh, Riggy Riggy doesn't like racism. Riggy is against racism, everybody. Okay. Also, anyone normal should be against racism. <laughs> um, that's just uh, I think that's just like a, a basic human trait. But uh, you know, whatever. <laughs> uh, hold on. Hey, it's me, the guy that you timed out. I just went on my alt account to say sorry. All right, yeah, you're forgiven. <laughs> just uh, don't do any weird stuff like that again. See, so saying sorry is fine as long as you admit that you made a mistake. That's the deal with like a bunch of a bunch of streamers. They get canceled. Okay, number one, I'm never gonna cancel anybody. I'm never gonna cancel anybody. You know what I mean? I'm, I'll never hop, hop on like a, a hate train for somebody that's canceled. Like especially if like I've known them or I've, I've met them before. I don't agree with cancel culture. I think it's rough ending somebody's entire everything because of mistakes that they've made in the past especially if like number one it was a long time ago or number two if it was like you know something that was like everybody makes a mistake guys you know what i mean everybody's imperfect i've done stupid things everybody's done stupid things but like i try to grow from those things and i try to become better and i think that's what's important to do as a content creator now granted if it's horrible like they're a serial killer then yes you can cancel them but like you know what i mean squirrel yes squirrel thank you monkey spit <laughs> for rising the tension of the situation but yeah um yeah, you, dude, if somebody says sorry and they're apologetic and everything, I think that they deserve to be forgiven, you know what I mean? Um, Ayo, Super Chats, thank you so much for the two. But yeah, um, so I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm never going to hop on a bandwagon of canceling a creator, you know what I mean? There's creators that I don't like. Um, uh, yeah, there's the guy that apologized. Thank you so much, mate. You're forgiven. Um, anyway... Um, but yeah, there's, there's, I'm never gonna hop on a bandwagon and say, you know what, this, this creator is horrible. They need to be canceled. Even if, you know, I'm, I'm sure, I'm actually shocked. You know, let's, let's talk about this for a minute. You know, let's finish this and I'll come back to it. Uh, hold on. But yeah, there's um, the bucket under the mind control for We'll talk about it in a minute. Influence as well. Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do, what kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? These questions raced furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. My feeble mind. No! No! Pirate? Employee pirate? That's hilarious. You got a pirate working for you? Dubs. What's that yellow text? I can't read it. His one friend in the entire world. My one friend. He could trust no one except for the bucket. Just the bucket. The bucket and me versus the world. Where are we going? We're going here. Alrighty. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Thank you, mate. Walking, I try to be. Working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. Most of my content is wholesome. Uh, the Riggy series will not be wholesome. It'll have wholesome moments, but uh, it'll also be incredibly dark. So. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exist. On! But at the last second... The bucket jumped in and pressed the button to turn on the controls. <gasps> the bucket intercepted! <gasps> I gasp in horror! All along! The machine and claim the power for itself? The bucket betrayed me. I'm going to toss it away in disgust. The image appeared upon the enormous screen. Birds. Silly. Silly birds. Silly birds? <gasps> is there more birds? There's more birds! Everyone! This is the best case scenario. Stanley flipped through one video of silly birds after another, and then it dawned on him. This wasn't a mind control facility at all. It was a facility for monitoring and surveilling silly birds all over the world. Silly birds! Were only a facade to disguise its true intentions. 
Had the bucket known this all along? The bucket Stanley did know this. At the metal genius in his hands. The one who had what a genius. This incredible discovery. Look at that pretty Stanley one. And the bucket never found freedom because they spent the rest of I don't think so. Maybe. Penguins! I love penguins. Riggy doesn't like penguins, but I like penguins. They're cute. That's a cool one. I like the mohawk. Pretty hummingbirds. What a great ending. You hear what the narrator said? Of all the, pro of all the possible paths to choose, that was the best one. Ah, wonderful. Well, now we have experienced... The Stanley Parable. What a wonderful thing. What a wonderful, beautiful game. What a wonderful experience that we have that we have we have collectively gone through. You know what I mean? Just just absolutely marvelous. The way that we've the way that we've 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 been on a true adventure. We met buckets, we met narrators, went all around the world, did crazy, silly, goofy things. Alright, so for now, what we're gonna do, you know what, let's just chill. You, me, chat, you know, we we're we're just gonna chill for a little while. Hold on, let me fix this. Stuff it looks all wacky. Sorry, yeah, I was going crazy after a little while. So started uh, taking apart my shirt and stuff. Anyway, <laughs> uh, well, all the people calling me Daddy Dano in chat apparently don't mind it. But also, please don't uh, call me Daddy Dano. Anyway, <laughs> uh, let's see if Dano says something about this comment. He doesn't hate his fans. I don't hate my fans. I love my fans. They're the best. Anyway, so about cancellation, dude. I am actually really shocked. Riggy Lore W for what? Oh, about him hating penguins. I think that's a known fact. Anyway, um, you know, I think it's. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually really shocked that I haven't been. Let me take my headphones off. Hold on, I gotta fix my hair for a second. I'm actually really shocked that I haven't seen a single like creator like dislike me. I feel like most shorts creators get like some amount of hate. Like Jelly Bean, dude. Jelly Bean got so much. And I don't understand what the difference is between like me and Jelly Bean. Like people will be like, "Oh, hey, you know what, Dano? You you make uh you make such better content, or you put so much more effort into your videos." But yes, they still, I'm not saying yeah, that's true. I do put so much effort in. No, content is content. You know what I mean? And it's just different. If Dano says something about his com comment, he doesn't hate his fans. I don't hate my fans. Thank you for the ten. Anyway, content is content. I don't think one should be objectified as better than the other. You know what I mean? Like art is art. There's not. I will see you uh, next stream. I stayed with you. We'll see me next stream. Cool. Anyway, um, there's um, there content is content, and art is. Can you remember me in the next stream? I will remember you, Michael Rivera. Um, different types of art. It's all subjective. Just like video games, you can't have a favorite video game and be correct. You know what I mean? Like, uh, how much money do you want? A billion dollars. Uh, that was a joke. <laughs> Please don't send me any more money, Monkey Spit. You've been sending money the whole time, so I appreciate you. You don't have to send any more. I, you, you, you're good. You, you, you're good. <laughs> anyway, um, money for spider problem. I saw that. Thank you. Anyway, yeah, the, just like if you have your favorite creator, dude, there's no right answer, okay? Yeah, I mean, if your favorite creator is like, uh, I don't know, some murderer, killer, hate speech person, then uh, yes, you are objectively wrong, actually. But for the most part, creators are all just different. And so I'm actually shocked that I haven't seen one creator yet that just hates me. You know what I mean? Or maybe there is somebody that doesn't like my content or the way that I announce my stuff. Honestly, if I wasn't me, I would probably dislike my content. Like the whole like, what is this answer to this obvious question? Well, let me go down the facts that you could easily Google and blah, 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 blah. Like, I try to make it entertaining. It's not like I'm trying to, like, cheap you guys out of, like, going on Google. I try to, like, make the questions entertaining. You know what I mean? Like, well, what would happen if the moon started floating away? Let me watch this funny animation. But, like, I don't know. I would personally annoy myself because it's a bunch of, like, questions that I already know the answer to. You know what I mean? And I know some people are, you know, they enjoy the content. They enjoy the animations. And they enjoy Riggy, most of all. You know what's funny, dude? Every video that I talk about Riggy actually just does, like, better than my shorts where I don't talk about Riggy, which is funny. But anyway, Riggy's just basically, like, outdone the fame of my channel at this point. Uh, used to, it was like, if I made a video about Disney, then the video would do better. Um, but I stopped for a while because I didn't just want to be the guy that did shorts about Disney. But uh, now Riggy has replaced that. Riggy is literally, if I put Riggy at the beginning of a short, it does well. Which I love, you know? I love the fact that you guys are so, you know, that you guys love my character so much. That you guys, um, you know, love Riggy. And, and you guys have been able to connect with him so well. And so it's a massive win, actually. Daddy, Dan, okay, well, uh, we could only go so long without it. <laughs> Anyway, uh, hold on. This is the wrong settings for the light. There we go. Much better. 
anyway, so I'm just, uh, yeah, it's really cool. But yeah, I, I, I'm shocked that I haven't seen anybody say, you know, why Dano draws is horrible. He makes bad content, and he's so annoying, and Riggy's voice is grating, which it is. Um, but yeah, I'm just grateful for all the love that you guys show me. I, uh, To be fair, I don't think my mental health could handle, like, a single hater. I would... Pfft, whew, and if I got canceled, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I'm already... Um, hey, Dano, Fortnite skin idea. Make this into a short. Not sure, but, uh, oh, a Dano Fortnite skin? I'm not sure. Anyway, um, yeah, dude, if I got canceled, that would be rough. Like, I, I don't know if I'd be able to handle that. That's, uh, money for your spider problem. Thank you, mate. Yeah, um, hopefully that won't happen, but, you know, if it does and I go silent, don't be worried about me. I'm just, uh, figuring stuff out. Yeah. Speaking of my mental health issues, which I, you know, I, I don't want to talk about it too much because you guys are young and impressionable and stuff, and I don't want to dump too much, and so I actually... I'm making an announcement here that uh, uh, a few streams ago, uh, s people saw I had a tab open that was for, you know, I was looking for therapy. I am, uh, that was my bad. I'm, that, that really actually was like kind of a moment where I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe, you know, how transparent, like I'm transparent on my, on my dear Dano channel, but you have to like work to find that, you know what I mean? And I try to keep it. Uh, yes, Dano socks. Thank you. I'm talking about mental health right now, and somebody just sent a super chat that says Dano socks. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, there was. A, I, I was watching a video talking about another famous creator. That uh, what's your videos be about? Anything you're passionate about? I saw a video talking about another creator who was pretty much too transparent about his mental health to a point where it seemed like he was trying to gain sympathy points. And I don't want to come across like that. So from now on, uh, you know, I've always tried to keep my mental health discussions out of my main channel. Obviously, Dear Dano is the place for that. You know, if, if people want to see the true me, then that's what they can look on is Dear Dano. And they can see who I am, what my actual thoughts are behind the scenes of me being like, oh, goofy Dano, hee hee hee, you know, so much energy. We look at the goofy game, you know, because most of the time in reality, I'm just like a, I'm just like a, a down-to-earth, like, person that has, like, a bunch of, like, deep thoughts and, and things. Um, hey, Dandori Master, thank you. I will accept that compliment. Anyway, um, so, yeah, I'm not going to talk about it on Twitter anymore because I made a couple things on Twitter talking about mental health and burnout and stuff. I'm going to try to keep it, like, I'm going to try to keep a lid on it from now on. I'll still make jokes about my mental health because that's the way I deal with things. You guys know that. You know, if you saw the Being Careless video, I deal with the thought of death because I like to joke about, I like to joke about my problems, you know what I mean? I like to joke about the things that scare me, because it helps me feel better, uh, it helps me feel less scared of things, you know, as long as you can make a joke about it, then I think that it's, um, it's, it's a good way to make, uh, to make yourself feel safer, I don't know how to explain it, <laughs> um, you know, laughter, I think, is the best, laughter is the best medicine, that's the, that's the thing, right, and so I use it as a self-medication, I, you know, if I, if I'm feeling scared about something, like, um, uh, I don't know. Hey, you know what? If you guys are scared about asking out, you know, a girl or a guy or whatever, how about this? Try joking about it. Try joking about your friends, you know, the worst that could happen or, or you know, what, what's going to happen? You're going to get hit by a building or a building's going to fall on top of you. You know, I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, I think jokes is a really good way to like, you know, not just like telling jokes to somebody who's sad, you know, like if somebody's dad died, don't go up to them and be like, hey, <laughs> well, that was a grave mistake he made when he, you know, did that tightrope walk across the Golden Gate Bridge and fell to his death. Don't try to, that's not what, that's not what it means. Laughter is the best medicine. It doesn't mean you can always make somebody laugh who's having a traumatic, a traumatic experience. But what it does mean is try making yourself laugh, I think. Try making situations funny to yourself. Try making yourself, you know giggle a little bit you know i don't know i don't know how to explain it but yeah sorry a bit ranty um let's try and review some videos really quick i had some stuff i wanted to share with you guys so let me pull it up um uh let's see <laughs> the moist meter for saw x epic dan it was better than riggy thank you mate anyway sorry if i'm forgetting about anything i'm a little scatterbrained right now let's see browser Alrighty. let me set up a window capture really quick Window capture settings. Rabbits go home. What? Oh yeah, there we go. Window capture. Um, hold on. I'm gonna pull up the moist meter really quick, just so I have something going on. Moist meter, moist meter, moist meter. Everyone gone. What is this? Steam captures live streaming. Where is it? Is this it? Hello. Hello. That's rough. Oh, the window capture's not working. 
Maybe I need to change it. Hold on. Sorry, I'm just working on making sure the windows... Oh, there we go. Well, I got something working. That's good. <laughs> Let's, uh... Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Anyway. All right, so I had some stuff I wanted to show you guys. Actually, I wanted to go over... Actually, I think I wanted to go over some of Dacha's videos because they're so cool. All right, so first out, shout out Dacha. Amazing. Uh, I've actually... I've messaged them on Discord a little bit because uh, I wanted to give them some assets for them to be able to use in their videos and things because, you know, they're they're gaining so many subs so quickly. Look at that. 50, almost 50,000. Everybody go sub to Dacha. Shout out. Um, but yeah, they, they've, they've made so much stuff about Riggy and stuff. It's so cool. So go watch all their videos and everything. Um, <laughs> yeah, anyway, uh, I, I just, and I can't, I can't say how, how I feel to see somebody who's doing so well, literally just talking about Riggy and stuff. Um, it's shocking that, that, that somebody's able to grow this much, like talking about Riggy and, and a character that I made and, and studying the lore. Oh, by the way, okay, I dropped a bunch of hints about Riggy's lore over the past couple months because nobody, like, really picked it up and made any good theories about it, you know, or big theories about it, like, you know, every, anyway, so I kept dropping things, hoping that somebody would pick, pick up on it, and then Dacha comes along, picks up on all of it, puts it all together, and makes just all of these theories, and now... Pretty much has figured out the entirety of episode one. <laughs> I made I made fan art of Riggy. Look at it, please. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll go look at some fan art soon. Anyway, but yeah, uh, basically they figured out all of episode one, which is rough. Not all of it, actually. There's there's a couple things that uh, they misfired on or that uh, are still going to be hidden. Uh, also things that I just haven't hinted at, so that way there's, like, you know, good surprises. But it, yeah, it's shocking. They, they figured out a lot of the twists and stuff. Give you my life savings. Ooh. Anyway, uh, a lot of a lot of the series still has. There's a bunch of secrets actually, and and obviously there's individual episodes that'll have their special things. But yeah, dude, Dacha is so cool. Um, Riggy lore just dropped. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna show any of these. I was thinking about it. I don't think I'm gonna show any of these because I want you guys to go and support them. I don't want to just showcase it here and then. Oh well, if you watch it here, then oh here we go. What will the Riggy series be called? The Riggy series has just been a placeholder name for now since we don't know the name of it, but Dano's taken it to calling it R instead and have has confirmed Riggy's name won't be in the title. That's true. So what do you guys think it'll be? Also, I can't wait for 2024. Let's see these, actually. All right. Let's see if anybody got close. I personally don't care about Shorts Wars Season 2 at this point. I just need the Riggy series. Hey, Shorts Wars still has Riggy, okay? I consider Shorts Wars like a... Thank you guys so much for the donuts. I consider Shorts Wars like a spin-off of the Riggy series, okay? <laughs> or like, you know, it's like the Smash Bros. collab. Like, you know, you'll still play like a Mario game, but it's also cool to see Mario inside of Smash Bros. You know what I mean? I'm not, comp I'm not comparing Riggy to like some of the most famous video game characters of all time, but you know what I mean. Anyway, all right, let's see. Riggy, the guy who hates the man ex employing him, except it's not about that or him going on strike. Thank you for the super chats uh, for his raise. It's because it's about his backstory. Yes, that's perfect. That's actually the name. You, you guessed it. Oh, no. This is going to be exciting. Maybe just Riggy or Riggy the Runky, but if Dano does call it R, it'll remind me of a game called D. No, it's not called R. It's just the name that I've taken to calling it for now um, because I can't um, reveal the actual name or even the initials because I'm afraid of. Uh, somebody taking the copyright for it before I can please play Rayman Legends I will eventually oh hey we forgot to do the vote for the game what game should I hold on I'll do that in a minute but anyway yeah I, I uh, I'm calling it R for now R isn't the beginning of the series name either but yeah I've got a really cool name picked out and I want to make sure I can trademark it before somebody else does uh, because if I don't trademark it then I can't call it that you know what I mean uh, anyway uh, let's see. I think that it should be called Riggy because it would just fit in really good. Well, you know, but if you Google Riggy, I'd rather the character come up and not his series first, you know? Uh, I'm gonna guess that it uses Runky. No, no Runky. Rob Runky's Adventure or something. Uh, if Dana was pulling a sneaky on us, Rigmund. <laughs> it's spelled Rigmund wrong, but whatever. Um, gives me a lot of Twitter X5 skull. Yeah, that's why I'm not calling it R. It's just, it's just like Project R, you know what I mean? Uh, Riggy's Regrets at Reality. That's a good name. Riggy Electric Boogaloo. You guessed it. That's the name. I'm kidding. Riggy's Backstory. Makes sense, right? Well, you know what? It is a prequel. Actually, you know what? I haven't revealed this, but I think I'll do it now. Uh, the, the series is for the most part a prequel. I think the first three seasons will be prequel stuff, so that way you can see where Riggy came from, his whole backstories and everything, but then we're going to catch up to modern day. You know, we're going to see where, you know, I'm excited for you guys to see the evolution of Riggy's character, how he started out, and then how he evolved to be the little troublemaker thing he is, uh, but eventually, you know, it's going to catch up to modern day. It'll be cool. We'll get to see some modern day stuff and, like, what's been going on recently behind the scenes, you know, while he's filming shorts with me, and then when he leaves... Uh, you're done oh the fifty dollars oh now you're done sending money after sending two fifties that's insane my gosh thank you 
But also, dude, chill. You guys can chill. Hey, Royalty, welcome back. We're just talking about the Riggy series. Anyway, yeah, it'll be cool. You guys will get to see, you know, after he finishes filming a short with me, and where's he go? Also, you guys will get to see him getting his kidney stolen or, um, you know, him breaking his legs or that fight with the Easter Bunny. You guys are, are all going to get to see that play out. Uh, and also, uh, anyway, you know, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see anyway but yeah it'll, it'll catch up to modern day but that'll be like probably season four it's gonna be a while dude i've got like four seasons sketched out of this whole thing i think i can take it pretty far as long as you guys enjoy like episode one and two um if you guys hate episode one and you hate episode two because episode one is just kind of to grip you in right and then episode two is going to be reflective of more of the overall vibe i'm not going to stop anytime soon oh my gosh guys you got to stop donating it's too much anyway but yeah oh the big twist though um dude I'm so excited. The the big twist is is um <laughs> I was like this close to actually saying it, but no. The big twist, I'm excited to see if anybody's going to be able to predict it before it happens. I think there's two big twists in the series, and it's not just twist for the point of subverting subverting expectations. I learned my stuff from Star Wars. That's not going to happen. The twists will be planned out and there's going to be a bunch of evidence for them and everything, and I'm sure that Dacha is going to figure it out before I even get a chance to reveal them, but whatever. <laughs> She's no they're going to figure it out like a couple weeks into the series, I'm sure. They're just going to immediately know what it is anyway. Yeah, so what I was planning on doing is animating the entire first season and then dropping it uh like episode week week week. But uh, I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to drop one episode uh, as soon as I finish making it. That way everybody can look at it. Uh, dude, that's crazy. Another 50. You guys are... Whew, chill out. It's okay. You guys can chill. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think I'm going to drop one episode so you guys can watch it, digest it, you know, theorize about it, and then eventually I'll drop the next ones. It won't be like... Um... It, the only reason it'll be a, a little rough is because you guys might forget what happened in one episode if I wait like a month or two to drop the next one. But anyway, yeah, right now the reason it's taking so long is because I'm making the overall storyline. I want to make sure that it's all finished before I release episode one because there's a couple, you know, details and stuff I want to make sure that are hammered down. So that way I'm not making it up on the go. Horrible idea. Uh, and number two... I want to make sure, or right, number two, it's taking a while because I have to draw all the set pieces first, but then after all the set pieces are drawn, then, you know, I don't have to, and, you know, construct it and everything in Blender. After they're all made, then I don't have to, you know, make them again, so it'll be cool if I can just do all the set pieces first, make it all perfect, and then, you know, it'll just be easy to animate Riggy and Co. and everything, and uh, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, <laughs> these are great. The Prophecy of the Runky is another idea. Uh... I don't think it'll be next year that you guys figure it out. I'll reveal it as soon as I have the trademark or the patent pending. Um, you know what's funny, too, is uh, a lot of people don't actually know that there's a Riggy series coming, and I realize that I, I just haven't made a short announcing it yet. <laughs> like, I don't, you guys know, because you guys watch my streams, or even if you just popped in right now. Uh, some people follow me on Twitter know. Hey, by the way, follow me on Twitter. I only have, like, 4,000 followers. I don't know what the deal is. Like, it's so hard to grow on Twitter. I don't know what the deal is. Um... Yeah, <laughs> sorry, I lost my train of thought. I'm just, whew, I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying spending time with you guys. I wish I could stream forever, but uh, you know, I have things to do. I got, I got a life to live. I got to edit so that way I can actually get my video, my next video up. Because I feel bad that you guys haven't been able to. Dude, I haven't posted a video in like three months. It's so hard to make these long form videos at the same time as doing these shorts. Because you know, when you make a short after spending four hours on a short each day, kind of just kicks me. Like, dude, all of my motivation is dead. So I end up just writing for the Riggy series. But you know, I gotta focus on making videos that have my face too. Feels like I'm torn all the time between either helping Riggy's fame or helping my fame fame you know what i mean just anyway our our careers our separate careers hi dano you're my favorite youtuber can i get a shout out yes shout out radiator springs reviews radiator springs oh i love the reference to cars one of my favorite movies even though a lot of people don't like it i actually really like cars too as well and i know i i'm gonna get flamed for that one but smiling loser just one more another twenty dollars oh my gosh dude chill out there's a is that a is that an ant or a fly or something come on buddy leave i'm not gonna kill you i just want you to Anyway, Dacha's the Matt Pat of Shorts Wars. Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. Anyway, I appreciate you all. 3,500 views. That's crazy. Add me into the Riggy series, please. <laughs> Dude, with how much you've been donating at this point. Uh, anyway, yeah, I think I'm going to have some fan things. Oh, actually, there's a fan art competition coming up soon in the Discord. Everybody join the Discord right now. 
Oh man, I didn't do the Discord Q and A. Harry's gonna be mad at me for that. <laughs> I love Harry. Harry's the main Discord admin. There's a couple other Discord admins. I love all the Discord admins actually, uh, but also I don't have enough time to do the the, the Discord Q and A right now. But everybody, shout out, go join the Discord. And uh, if you're an artist, especially, go join the Discord because I'm gonna have a competition coming up soon where you can draw a character and have it appear in the Riggy series uh, with a writing credit or with a uh, an artist credit at the end. Um, I need a lot of characters, actually. A lot of background characters. I've drawn a lot already. Uh, but also, I could always use more. So, uh, And I think it'd be cool a way to involve you guys in the series. Make you feel like you helped it out. Uh, make it, you know, a little more community additions and stuff. And, uh, yeah. So, anyway. I'm going to try and get a lot of cameos from, from other YouTubers and things, too. I've got a bunch of stuff set up. Smile. Dude, chill. You don't need to send any more. Okay? You know what? I'm going to end the stream right now just because I don't want you to send any more money. I'm kidding. I actually have to go. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so I appreciate all of you. Just one- DUDE! CHILL! Okay, I'm ending the stream. That's it. We're done. We're done. Bye, guys. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Sorry. That would be mean, because then everybody would dogpile him. It's not your fault, but also I actually just have to go. Uh, dude, chill, chill. Oh, the Riggy Series one. Okay, I read that one. But yeah, anyway. Alright, I appreciate you all. Thank you for coming to the Stanley Parable stream. We'll come back to it one day. Oh! I forgot to do the vote. Next time. Alright, what should we do next time? One final poll. Uh, which game should I... <laughs> no more money? Oh my gosh, dude, chill. Alright, let's see. Sh uh, what game should I stream next Saturday? Happy birthday, Lamar Green. Hope it's amazing. Alright. Octodad or Captain Okay, so background. Octodad is a game... Uh, hold on. So Octodad is a game where basically it's kind of like I Am Bread to where it's like a goofy like like uh, like it's really hard to control but it's also really fun and I like the style and everything. Captain Toad is uh, do you guys not know what Captain uh, it's it's a it's kind of like you know it's Captain Toad from like Mario Galaxy Mario Odyssey and it's like a puzzle game where it's like little box puzzles and stuff uh, that you uh, it's pretty relaxing too but anyway yeah choose do you guys want me to play Octodad wiggle myself around and then have a little bit of a goofy time silly silly goofy time or captain toad you want to have a chill stream where i'm trying to do these little box puzzles and stuff i see octodad winning honestly that might be better because i feel like there's a little more engagement especially with me raging at the fact that his tentacles won't do what i want him to do but yeah i love octodad i have it on my wii u uh i have captain toad on my wii u too actually well i got it on my switch oh geez i just realized i haven't played a uh, switch game yet deer simulator yeah maybe one day i'll add it to the list uh after the stream's done but yeah Octo i'm seeing octodad win you guys sure? You want, you want me to play Octodad next week? Okay. 60%, 60-40, that's pretty tight. I'll play both games, don't worry. You know, if I don't play Octodad, or if I don't play Captain Toad next week, then I'll play it the week after, maybe, or the week after that. I don't know, maybe we'll keep doing votes. But yeah. Yeah. You know, next time, uh, <laughs> I'm excited. You know, one day, uh, or one day soon, uh, Leia, everybody loved Leia on the stream, and I'm so thankful that you guys like her as much as I do. Uh, well, hopefully you don't like her as much as I do, because that would be dangerous. Uh, I'm kidding. Can you... Here comes the second person to timeout. I just saw somebody say, can you wipe my butt? Sorry, I just ate Taco Bell. Alrighty, going in timeout. Bye, buddy. Uh, pfft, uh, it's just two people. I've made like five successful streams without having to time anybody out. There we go. That's sad. We broke our streak. It's okay, though. I know most of you guys are great, so... <laughs> most of you guys are chill most of you guys are um nice and everything but anyway so i i love all of you thank you for coming to the stream i appreciate all you guys by the way i just want to say you guys are you, you're so good to me you know you make uh oh, it's so cool being able to connect with you guys you know what i mean it's so cool being able to to just feel you know an actual connection between the community i just saw somebody say my dad left me oof i'm sorry mate sorry i hope everything's okay can you play among us one day yeah maybe Maybe, maybe. Anyway, sorry. I just, uh, I want to stay in this moment for a minute with all of you. But I want to leave. I don't want to leave. I have to leave because I have things to do. It's 630. I was going to cut myself off at 630. Okay, I'm going to go. I appreciate all of you. Thank you for coming to the Stanley Parable stream. Thank you for chilling with me. Thank you for joining the whole time. I will draw some Riggy-based fake mon. Is it like Pokemon type deal? That's cool. Anyway, thank you all for coming. I appreciate all of you. And uh, I'll see you next time. Have a good day. <laughs> Dollar fish for chat. Thank you, mate. Thank you, Connor Allen. Last uh, last dono of the stream. Anyway, bye guys. <laughs>